In Liberia, November 1944, a public spirited person was born. Joseph Numa Wakai from Wasanga, Foya District, Lofa County. He is a role model. He's actually my inspiration. He's also a perfect example of humility. He's a very humble person. Through that papi. The help he start giving all from this swam here. I know that when he get there, he will help me. He will help the nation. 
in Liberia, November 1944, a public spirited person was born. Joseph Numa Wakai from Wasanga, Foya District. <laughs> been very strong speaking out against Mr. George Weir. Why do you think he would be the wrong person to rule this country? He was the world best, European best, Africa best, all the best, right? He made so much money, we are told, 93 million dollars. I stand to be corrected in this amount. But he made so much money to the extent that the United Nations looked at him and made him what? United Nations ambassador for UNICEF to donate his money to suffering children around the world. How many children in Liberia did he prioritize? Nothing. There is no George Weir Foundation. There is no sports academy. There is no recreation center. There is no public library for public school students. There is absolutely nothing. Money is gone. You want to be president to set over our resources. The same way you manage, mismanage yours, you will man mismanage ours. That's what I think. We fear rigging. We fear rigging. If there is a rigged election, we fear national civil response. So the people that's why I said some time ago, never send a boy to do a man's job. Anybody who know the history of Liberia, you can't play with rights. That's why I said some time ago, never send a boy to do a man's job. Anybody who know the history of Liberia, you can't play with rights. The only way to make this economy fair, the only way to make our democracy stronger is if we fight for it. You can't take it for granted. And that starts with electing people who know you, who see you, who care about you, who can walk in your shoes and, and see through your eyes and, and know what it's like to struggle, know what it's like to get sick, know what it's like to, to have to pay off student loans. Know what it's like when things aren't just handed to you, but you got to work for them. That's what you did two years ago when you sent Joe Biden to the White House. He knows you. He's been there. He's fighting for you every day, doing everything he can to put more money in your pocket, to make streets safer, to bring more good paying jobs here to Pennsylvania. The only way to make this economy fair the only way to make our democracy stronger is if we... Oh, man, what, what are you doing here? I can't sell. You selling? What are you selling? I sell it trousers. I see, I see your car. I see this car in your hand. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very much disappointing in the whole part there. Uh, uh, and our president also. What? For the moment, I'm no more a citizen. I, I, I remember I'm an independent candidate now. But why you get the, the card? I mean, I see your, you know, from my, I see this guy. It's uh, CDC Adika. Yes. All right. But uh, 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 tell me. Uh, why, why are you disappointed in the president? Why you say disappointed? You no, you no longer a sedition. Yeah, the president take our country to be to be a joke of country. Like how? Leave our country. Everything hard. People not taking pay. They have the money. Care for that go spot it. But the man said he negotiating yesterday. He was able to speak to you know uh, some of the government officials of Qatar and they're thinking about how they can you know ask something on on local country rule. Yesterday, I was leaving evidence on Carrasco in post. They are in pay still on whatever ticket in in Qatar to watch football game. And I, and I don't think Carrasco can look at it. Um, money, um, personal money, pay sell on our country, money in sporting. So what's your own advice? Because you are a sedition and I see your, your ID card. What's your advice to the president? You stay your president. My advice to the president is 
in just stay strong for 20 to the day because we are going there. We will need to take him from there. Yeah, in just stay strong. So, I mean, we're here in the end of the day, and stay there. It's all in the game. It's all in the game. Here, there, and everywhere. The people. Stevie, you muted. Yeah, Ali, what's up, guys? Uh, hold on, let me move this stuff on the stage. What's up, what's up, what's up, Matudo? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. We have um, Michelle in the back there. I got to bring him on. Um, just, just a second. <clears throat> Michelle, how are you? You can hear us? Yeah, I'm okay. Am I live? Yeah, you're live. We're very, live. very, okay. very. Yeah, I'm okay. How's, how's Banga? Well, Banga is okay. I mean, everything is okay at the moment, and we're grateful for the life we have and everything. Great, great. And, 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 and so we are live also on the radio in Banga, right? Yes, you are live on the radio. So you want to be with us through the conversation or you want to come when we're taking the course? Uh, whatever way you do that, I mean, you make the decision, <laughs> just whatever way. <laughs> so be all here for some time. Let, 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 yeah, what's trending from, from, uh, from Banga. We'll come across to you for you to tell us what's trending in Banga and then, uh, we will, then we'll pick up from there. No problem, Chief. Okay. So, um, let me say, um, Welcome everybody to. But do you but do you have the time to be on if they wanted you to be on throughout? Do you have the yes, time and the capacity to be? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So let me say um, good evening and uh, welcome to everybody. This is uh, the class reloaded. Of course, I'm your host, your usual host, uh, Stephen Johnson. Today I'm joined in studio by. Um, as usual, Mohammed Ali, Jerry Linick, Pia, uh, Pastor Wendell Imo, and uh, of course we have our our own um, Michelle Chupo. He's all the way there in Banga, Bon County at the, the Premier FM. Who will be joining us uh, going forward to be taking local calls as well from uh, from from Liberia. So it's good to have you all join us. And let me also say uh, thanks. Uh, to all of our radio stations for carrying us live. We have uh, Bourgeois Radio FM 98.1 in Montserrado, Radio Dupa FM 89.1 in Grand Bassa, Premier FM 98.1 all the way there in Banga, where uh, Michelle is, uh, Banga Bon County, Voice of Lofa FM 99.3 in Fongema Lofa County, Radio Joy Africa FM 97.5 in Maggie, and of course our own Voice of Compound FM 106.5 all the way there in Nimba. County that's Compass City, Nimba County. Um, tonight edition, we have a very interesting issue to look at. Uh, we'll look at first trending issue, and then, of course, as we said last year, we will do uh, random polling. Um, tonight, we will poll our listeners on who should be the running mate of uh, Ambassador Puaka now that elections are only about nine months away. So, um, we will, you, um, Ali will. Before we start, Ali will state the format um, that the uh, polling will be done uh, through. He um, will tell you what exactly you need to do. So tonight we will be doing a polling. We need to pull, we want to pull as many persons as we can. If we can get up to three, 400 persons, we will like it. I want to pull as many persons as we can. So our trending issue will be a little, not too long, so that we can get as many callers as we can to have a very big, sample space the last time we did it we had 184 callers um tonight we want to have as maybe double or triple that amount so we'll be taking down the uh, statistics uh pastor mo will be taking down the, the statistics ali will give the detail um let me say a big welcome to all of you all of you if you're in class just in person so that we can recognize you i see lamini conan Edwin sharif uh my emma 
T. Obonto Kopo, Suama Puhu, Adam Thompson, Emmanuel Johnson, Augustine King, Patience Seman. I see um, the Belle Queen from Bapulu, Su Susan Boakai, Robert Sa, uh, Luas Lobey, Christopher Davis, uh, Ansu Sharif, um, Donzo Sharif, uh, Charles Young, uh, Tenen Koko, uh, Erko Pape, Christopher Lamy, uh, Gazibadi, Batakoli, um, Joseph Kaba, um, see uh, Clarence Benson, uh, Zoda Guzin, um, Sangari Siddiq, um, Lloyd Powers, Victor Logan, um, I see um, Melvin, Henry Colley, Melvin, Roland Temer, Momo Nelson, um, Comfort Samuel Amos Colley, Helen Kamon, Mohamed Sharif, Joshua Russell, uh, George Shelton, Double Jala, um, Florence Kinsley, Alpha Colley, Winifred Setua, May God of Blessing, Kafumba Donzo, uh, Wayford Francis, uh, Stephen Topa, Donzo Sharif, Andrew Tucker, Fumba Sese, Elko Pape, um, James Akwe, uh, and everybody else who's joining us, uh, Mami Dwe, uh, Momo Sandy Mending, um, Samuel Salabasa, uh, Melipali Sumu, Sao King Sebe, Umaru Kengo, Tanu Chala. So we got 288 more days uh, for we are to be jobless. That's a good one. Momo Nelson, um, Mohammed Jan Ba, John Kapu, Bill Carson, Edwin Sharif, Sisfo uh, Bewarite, Habadu. Cabri, Comfort Whitfield, um, and everybody. To your fellows, uh, Jibwe, how are you, my brother? Uh, and everybody. Glad we just want you to kindly share the show. Uh, invite as many persons as you can. Tonight will be interesting. We are conducting an opinion poll as to who should be the running mate for uh, Ambassador Puaka ahead of the uh, October polls this year. The year is 2023. The month is January. And today is the fourth day of January 2023. I'd like to say welcome to all of our panelists. Uh, let me begin the conversation first by going across the table to ask what's trending. Um, speak about in two minutes, two, three minutes max, um, what's trending, um, so that we can begin the conversation. So, uh, so, so Stephen, before you do that, um, there is this uh, fellow, one Miko Fisio in one of our rooms, who was asking that, you put a link of the show in a room there. I don't know why he wants to do it, but at the same time, you're saying uh, Michelle is not being heard on the platform. Please make arrangement. So I said, but well, we're hearing him. Then he said, well, I'm listening to the radio and we're not getting him on the radio. So Michelle, can you check to see what are people hearing you on the radio? Uh, is, he, is, is the person in Banga? Uh, I think so. He's, the person is in our... In our, in our media, it's gonna be in Banga because the radio is in Banga, and we share radio station in Banga. So if it, if it, if it's on different radio station, when I hear, I mean, you hear Michelle talk if he talks here, but I don't think if you, if he wants to hear on a particular station, you have to be tuned to a radio station. But if you like watching live, you you hear. No, you say I'm listening to the radio. Okay. Michelle, can you say a word? Just say hello and something so we can. So hello. Yeah, you you loud and clear. You could. I think everybody else can 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 hear you. All right, and the other guy called Emmanuel Emmanuel Wule. Emmanuel says you're saying the link because you're having problem with email. Who is he? I have sent the link to Emmanuel. Media, I think you asked the media me. class reloaded. Just put it there. Like when people are speaking from that on the last screen, they're speaking from that media class reloaded. Why you want to join the studio? You want to come in studio? You say I'm the manager of a premium FM. So it's the very premium. So maybe they're having some issue. Yeah, but yeah, let's do that one behind the scenes. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. You just you just you just send me a text. Okay, I get it. It's not so you to send on the same because the show is not live. That's what they're saying. So we gotta sort it out. Before you start the, the stop, they're not live. I think okay, so he, he's, 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 yeah. he's saying I'm not I'm not on the radio from this side. So maybe I gotta work it out from this side. Okay. Yeah. So in just a minute the, the message has here. So you start it off uh while we while we go on. Then more can put it in our chat room and talk about it. Let more put a link there. 
Because Emmanuel is there. You see, he can so, see and he sent him the, the live link, not the link to join the studio, the live yeah, the link. the live link, that's what he wants. So I think we're good now. So guys, you know, why why we get that sorted out from uh, from from the guys? Um, let's begin, Pastor Mo. Uh, quickly, your your training issue. Oh yeah, so much, uh, so much is going on. Let me laugh here for a lot more. Behind the scene, you get tossing about time. That's so much you talking about. Don't go to a five million and be complaining about time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you say we're gonna do a show. Right, you say we're gonna do a show for two hours, thirty minutes, and you can talk plenty. <laughs> well, monitor, I don't worry, yeah. Yeah, still bring monitor. You myself, monitor me. Let 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 keep it like that. Thank you. You know, don't give a don't give a pastor microphone. Anyway, thank you. I, I want to be grateful to God for today and our many viewers by way of the Facebook. I mean, by way of YouTube, by way of Radio Land. Welcome. There are so many issues that are confronting us. Let me hurry into it. I'm sorry, Pastor, before you continue. So, Stevie, I think it's a Michelle Begin who got to sort something out because the manager see the show is actually live. But they can hear all of us except Michelle. So, something maybe Michelle got to work on something in the studio then. Yeah, I think you're listening. You'll know, fix, fix it. I can proceed now. Go ahead, Pastor. Thank you. So, my first training issue is my concern has to do with the 2023 uh, um, election with NEC. My fear is trusting NEC to conduct the 2023 general presidential election. Uh, 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 there are so many in indicators and factors along the way. You know, and I know, we all know that NEC have done things and is doing things that is not conducive for the elections. One of those that we see in Liberia, the CDC is, uh, has been con conducting campaign trails since last year with light poles, other things be, be erected in the nation with the incumbent photo on all of them. And unfortunately for us, NEC have not taken any action. Can, can, can we really trust NEC? Can we really trust NEC in the National Election Commission in leading us to election next year? Those are things that the opposition need to look at. I'm not saying that they need to come together, but I'm saying that they need to have one word because NEC is it is not trustworthy. We saw that that the commission of, of NEC were indicted and Somebody from a political party stood her bomb. My my next concern has to do with the security situations in Liberia. And, and when it comes to election, security is paramount. Security is first and foremost. Because how can Kennedy go out to campaign when the security is not tightening? I, I I remember my years in Liberia as a law enforcement officer. Then there will be a series of training and an officer uh, uh, of the Liberian National Police will be scrutinized and, and, and a group of officers will strictly be set aside only for election purposes. We are now seeing that in Liberia. We don't know how well because if we look at a, 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 a series of, of issues that have taken place in Liberia since George Bia took over, uh, uh, we, we saw opposition candidates being attacked. For one example, Cla Clarence Massacre in Ketma, his vehicle was set ablaze. His house was, uh, I believe, was also set ablaze. We look at uh, Cornelius Crown Topa. I, I think I stand to be corrected. I think in District 13, she was brutally attacked, and 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 and, and people around her, around her was was injured. I, I think in I. You know, like somebody died, and and the government did not uh, did not address that. We also look at both Boto Kanem, who is today I think siding with the CDC. Boto Kanem too were also attacked in Babalu. It took months. It took months before she could take her seat. Lastly, we we uh, uh, we look at Talia Yure. Talia Yure was crying on the phone for her life, and 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 and. And nobody been arrested, nothing been done. Can we really trust the, 
this national security to make the election, to provide security for the election. My word to the opposition is that you need to come to, I'm not saying come together, you need to put your acts together, get your auxiliary that will be able to protect you as you go out to election. Lastly, we see that uh, $20 million went missing for the road fund. I don't want to use the word went missing because the $20 million was in the care and, and custodian of a reputable institution, I believe. So when I use the word when missing, we use the word stolen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mwame um, Ali. Steven, thank you. And I'd like to make mine very, very short. What's trending in my head is this. You know, yesterday we were on the talk show as a panel discussing there was Katama and Samuel Jackson. And again, we were critiquing the government and everything. And something came to my mind and I said it. And I wanted to repeat it here for our listeners. You know, this government boasts of achieving, they are building rules and everything. And one question that keeps coming to my mind is, have they initiated the construction of any major highway where they have started the negotiation for it, source the funding for that highway, and actually began implementing it? Stephen, I've been checking all over, and maybe I'm not doing the checking the right way, but the records have shown that there is none major highway that this government has negotiated for. They've negotiated funding, drawn out the blueprint, and started the implementation. Everything that is happening today in terms of road construction started up with the UP-led government. It's either we started the negotiation and concluded and sourced the funding, and they started the road like the, the, the Banga to Salaye Road, or we started the construction of the road like from Ganta to, to, to Yekepa, the Kampli Road, the, the one in the Southeast, and all of these roads. There is not a single road that they've done. The one that they could claim a little glory for has become a disaster. It's a death trap. The RIA Highway it's a death trap. Stevie, anybody driving on that road, you are not here to drive on the day you come and you're driving over there. Even if you are driving in the night, you want your driver to be extremely careful. Or it's not even advisable that if you're arriving like you in the night, you drive on that road. It's a total death trap. So they are consistently boasting about we building roads. I am challenging them to show the single role that they have initiated, single major highway they've initiated and source funding for. The same thing we talked about the electricity. They need to tell us what initiative in terms of electricity that they have mm -hmm. undertaken that does not have it root from the past government. CLSG, you're bluffing about today, we started it signed the contract, construction, everything started. So you haven't initiated anything of your own. The last point about it is investment. Investment. This government has not been able to attract a single investment for the last five years of being in power. Not a single. Let them come and name one. They say, yeah, we brought in this cool water investment. The only thing we know... <laughs> They can bring investment investors, announce it, and when no investor go back, they are never to return NTR. So the challenge is out there. Let them come and show us what they've done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mo Ali. Uh, um, let me go to um, uh, Michelle. Michelle, um, give us some training issue uh, uh, um, on uh, some training issue from Bangladesh. What's 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 trending? Yes, uh, thank you. I I hope that I'm live on the video already, but I guess I've worked it out. I want to say thank you. And number one trending issue here from Banga, uh, citizens of uh, 
four years are expected to benefit from a road rehabilitation project. And that project is going to be initiated by uh, Save More Kids. And of course, it is, I mean, an entity that is run by a person, I mean, an individual known as Mr. Afra Kwanu Kwane Kiamu. And of course, he says this project is actually aimed at making sure that people in Liberia, yes, pe making sure that people in Liberia have the, the belief that they can do what they have. I mean, say they can do it on their own instead of relying on people uh, from outside of the country, like people in the diaspora and, and other places. He says this is the second time they are going to initiate the project. He said the first time they did it, and of course, citizens actually felt their impact. He said this second road project is going to lead from four year junction all the way to Guinea. And that's a very huge distance. And he actually called on people in the county uh, to actually join them this Saturday to meet and discuss how they can build their own roads and uh, using, I mean, what they have instead of relying on people also of the country to actually uh, build their roles. And another trending issue from this side of the country is uh, District No. 5 representative, uh, Honorable Edward Kafia, he actually made available some materials like uh, uh, transformer to the jungle energy power. And that's a kind of coin that is being supplied to inhabitants of Bonk. Mm -hmm. It's not the, the Liberia Electricity Corporation that we all know. And he actually made available some transformers. And he said, I mean, he's doing it as means to uh, give electricity to his people. And but this 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 has been met with uh, huge, huge criticism from inhabitants of Bank and even people who actually followed. And they said, uh, an individual coming up to say he's he's actually going to work in collaboration with JEP to make uh, to make sure that inhabitants of Bank have electricity. Uh, some of them are saying this is cash intensive. Imagine a person is uh, 140 United States dollars to have yourself connected because you have to get the meter and all of that. Some of them are saying it is cash intensive. So, I mean, where this person is coming from, who, I mean, who has money, I mean, and, and I can actually, because the people are talking about here, there are about 500,000 inhabitants of Bank, who we're talking about here. And some of them are saying he's only doing it to get political attention because this is uh, Honorable Kafia, the person we're talking about, he's one person who, uh, who are, let me say, who has actually won as representative in District No. 5 mm -hmm. for the past two times. And then he's coming now uh, to, to vibe for the senatorial seat in the county. So citizens of uh, Bonk are actually, I mean, questioning, I mean, where he actually getting it from. And some of them are saying mm -hmm. this is the same person who actually provided orange sound to people in this side of the country. And some of the orange are not even growing. And some of them, I mean, are stagnated. They are growing, but they are stagnated. And so some of them are saying, uh, it is actually good. That's a very great initiative. Uh, but they are actually questioning him when he's getting huge funding from to actually do it. So can you imagine 140 times 500 plus inhabitants? So if you do the mathematics there, I mean, that's huge finance. And he even make available about seven plus transformers to this company we're talking about. Okay. So some of them are, are, are actually questioning him. And, and of course, they, they are saying they, they want for him to, to actually uh, tell them where really he's getting the huge um, finance from. And uh, another trending issue from my side of uh, the county here. I mean, a female general, uh, she's uh, the former market superintendent of Bank. And of course, she's Madam Vaulo Nyama Lenlele Timba. You no, know, she says, this is time that female uh, began to uh, venture into politics. She said, this is time that females actually 
I mean, began to do what, I mean, other males are doing. She said, because she has observed that for the past time, most especially in Bonk, with the exception of Honorable Mema Bridge who hails from District Number 7, she's saying, I mean, there are not much females in politics. And so she says, this is time people come together and vote women comes 2023 to actually make a difference. And she's one person who is vowing for the representative seat in district number five. And okay. though she has been uh for the past two times, she says she's not disappointed and she believes that she can still represent her people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mitchell. And, and, and maybe later on during the program, we'll come to you to talk about the the economics in Bond County because I you know I lived in Bond County before interestingly I lived and worked in Bond County uh, when I used to work with uh, with a USAID project and so um, Bond and I was born in Bond County I was born in uh, um, Bond Mines Hospital um, all the way there in Bond Mines and so I have strong connection with the county uh, but we'll come back um, to talk about the economics and the nightlife how is Banga how are people coping in the midst of the hardship across the country and all of that so let's go to Pia. And then uh, we can move to Bo Ali, who will give us the format for the polling, and then we'll announce the numbers, um, and then we can begin the process. Pierre. Well, firstly, I've been struggling most of the times on the show. I see comments from the viewers about visibility around me, and I've been doing something to try to adjust it. Uh, from what I'm seeing is better. I hope you guys are seeing yeah, it. Yeah, right? better today. <laughs> okay. So that's part of the thing we do. You see this thing? I have to go buy this thing, Stevie. Okay, yeah. It's a special <laughs> standing light. <laughs> yeah, so like a special standing light. So I have to buy it and put it ahead of me. Yeah. Because it, it initially it was behind me and you could see it. So yeah. technically I found a solution to that. So yeah, you should it have been to it. Uh, number one training issue is to remind Liberians that after his 48 days and 48 nights out of Liberia, the president returned to the country with zero. So don't fall for the propaganda that says he brought 200 million to the country. Zero. Up to now, we know how the international system works. There is no such report from Qatar that they've made any commitment in the tomb of 100 million to the Lofa Road. There's no other report to the effect that 100 million were gotten in or two other millions. The only thing we know, which is that a fruit of anything he brought back, is that the US is going to be spending around 165 million in Africa, not just a few countries are going to election, but in Africa to strengthen uh, election and democratization. Other than that, don't fall for the 200 million Wahala. It's not true, it does not exist. Uh, I read today that a group established by one of my boys, Emmanuel Gonque, for some time now, called the Economic Freedom Fighters of Liberia. They've been informed by the National Election Commission that uh, I think on Thursday or so, they will be certificated as a political party. What caught my attention about that, and, and, and we need to think about it as a nation, is a fact that it is that so simple, Stevie and the rest of the panelists, for people just form political party in Liberia. It is that simple. People can just form political party. And I don't know what the neck is paying attention. Liberia is a democracy. When Gonkwe and his, his and his people established the EPEFFL, as they call it, I think basically from what we're seeing, it was a pressure group. Um, or civil society organization, whatever it could be. Then he had a chance to visit uh, South Africa, where the original EFF is, Economic Freedom Fighter, met uh, Malima, who was uh, 
youth league chair of the ANC and got expelled subsequently before establishing the EFF. And I think after that, he may have bought into a bigger agenda of Malima, which is to have umbrella movement of the EFF established all across the continent. And I think that gave birth to their concept of wanting to be a political party. And now they've reached the point where uh, they will be certificated as a political party. But, but here is what concerns me also. So the group that they tried to, or that they've been visiting, talking to, that may have been the inspiration for wanting to be a political party, that group, yes, is in South Africa, where there's democracy also, they vote for president. But the political philosophy of this, of this group, I don't see how it fits into our system, and if they are an offspring of that group. Because the economic freedom fighters in South Africa is a kind of left wing, so far right pan Africanist and Marxist linearist political party. So I, I, I don't know how they will fit in a Marxist oriented arrangement in a democracy such as ours. So I, I, I'm concerned so that we are not unconsciously inputting strange political philosophies and doctrine into our democracy. But congratulations to them. It is that easy. Maybe I too can form a political party. I'm not sure that I will have another hiccup. And uh, it will be that easy to, to have one. And then quickly, so that we can move forward. Uh, you know, we, we, I'm in the US and I pay attention to a lot of things that are happening here. And, and I'm hoping that we watch these things, Steven, so that in years to come, we can use some of the things we're saying to strengthen our own democracy. Since the congressional elections were held uh, here in the US in November, the Republicans got the majority of, of the Congress, which is the House of Representatives. And of course, it has been known to everybody who had the ambition to be speaker. But the way the system works is that for anyone to be speaker, you must be able to accrue 218 votes in the entire Congress. The Republican Party won 222 votes, as opposed to, I think, 212 by the Democrats. So one would think that if they all come together, they will have that threshold passed, if all 222 persons vote, and they will just have the speaker easily. Unfortunately for Kevin McCarthy, who wants to be the speaker, some members of his caucus, that 222 caucus, they just don't roll. And they've been giving the guy a hard time. And strangely, the last time that happened, I'm told, was in 1932 or something. They have had the process of voting five times. On all five occasions, Kevin had not been able to reach the 218. In fact, when he had a fifth one, he actually dropped further. So some of the guys who even supporting him and I'm saying, look, Kevin, you got to cut a deal. If you can't get a deal, then you got to give way so that somebody else can kind of put this thing behind us. But that's what happens if you don't have a strong majority. So yes, Republican took the House, but with 222 votes, it means that the person who is speaker cannot afford to give anything away. And the food is what we are seeing. Just five percent from the initial beside the whole Kevin whole agenda hosting. He's made some consensus, cons, cons, a consens, uh, concession, but still people have not changed. One of the concessions he even, uh, even made, concession he even made, is to make it easier for people to call for the removal of the speaker. I think the number has been bigger, but it, it was brought down to as many as five percent in his caucus can make a case for a speaker to be removed from the leadership position. But that has not moved the people into giving help. We're watching, we don't know how it will end. But that's how, that's how electoral democracy is supposed to work. Not a so say one, so say all situation we have back home in our country there. Imagine, it is the guy own people from his own party that drag in this long. And the final one quickly, for the short time I've been in America, most of the guys who play this American football, 
Majority of them are people of African descent, all the black boys. And on Monday, there was a major accident uh, where one of the players, um, what is the name, Stevie? I, I, I can't remember. I think Hemel or something. I need to check yeah. it out. <laughs> so this guy collapsed. To Mary. I'm lame. To yeah, Mary. I'm lame. Your first name again? Dem Damary Hamlin. Oh, Dama, G-A-R-N-A-R, G-A-N-A-R, yeah, I forgot, I remember that. Dama Hamlin. So this guy collapsed, just 24 years old. And he was getting some CPR removed from the field. The king was caught up, taken to the hospital. I mean, it's so, it's so sad. And, and, and when I got the latest up, the devil would come on the show, Stevie, I felt so bad. That since Monday, the doctors are saying there's no improvement in the man's condition since he got the cardiac arrest, and that he remains in critical condition. For that number of days, and somebody who suffered cardiac arrest, we just have to pray over plus if he should come true. This is a game that got a lot of money, but it also has a lot of risk, as we are seeing. A 24-year-old man, he's not even showed down whether he keeps living. It, 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 it got to me because so young, an African American man making a headway. And that kind of experience is nothing that any parent or relative of these boys who play in the NFL will want to take. So these are my concerns, Stephen. These are, even though some of them are of international dimension. But these are things that are trending for me. And, uh, thank you, Pia. And thanks to everybody for the trending issue. I think it, it's good that you you brought these things up, especially the the U.S. Um, speaker elections. Um, it, it shows it shows the beauty of of American democracy and how mature in terms of uh, 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 the overall operational style that democracy has been and and and. and and this is why I've often said that uh, to be a representative in Liberia or a senator or whatever, there has to be a, a sort of um, orientation exercise that you have to go through before you become a lawmaker. So, for instance, if, if Stephen con contests in, in, in Montserrat and wins, Stephen, because he... he, he he doesn't come from a background where he understands how the legislature works. There has to be a, 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 a kind of crash lesson that will propel Stephen for legislative duty. How to how to how to read read a bill, what are the things you look for in, 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 in a budget, how to understand public budgeting. These basic things, you know, have them watch these Western democracy and how they conduct their business in session. The, the issue of, uh, of, of, of decorum in session. In like, you just see people laughing all over the stage, people moving all over, people doing their own thing, and no, there's no decorum in, in, in most of our, most time, most of our, our, our um, sessions. And also the issue of how they conduct uh, confirmation hearing, you know, how, how people comport themselves, the kind of question they ask, the capacity of their staff, all of these things got to happen, you know, and there has to be, a way where they can have some form of of criteria for selection of staff. For instance, this can why is true you have to have 18 staff. There has to be some standard. Say, yeah, you must have a lawyer, you must have a public policy expert, you must have one economist, you must have one public finance man, you know, that kind of thing. So that you your office can be made out of people with, with, with the professional expertise that can guide you in the discharge of your duty. And let me also comment quickly on the issue Ali raised about the project by the CDC. Look, even the project that the CDC boasting of the, the 14 military hospital, the funding for the 14 military hospital came from the Japanese fund. And that's Japanese funds was a UP, uh, 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 was a project by the UP. The Japanese fund was where they used the rice. The, the Chinese gave us certain tonnage of rice. We'll resell them and then we'll use the money into initiative that will bring in additional money so that it can keep being a revolving fund. So the CDC went into that account. They used the first portion of the money to build the to build those uh, few homes in, in West Point. 
Then they took the bottom portion of the money to build the uh, the 14 military hospital and they did the two community rule. They've exhausted that money. The money is depleted. The Japanese, uh, up to now, the Japanese refused to even add any amount there because the essence of the money was not to use it one time. It was to, for it to be used in projects that will generate funding. And so since they, they depleted it because they wanted to impress people in those communities, that money has since been thrown out and there is no sound. So guys, we now come to our, so the nit, the both people say the nitty gritty of the conversation, which is the opinion pool. Um, We have a couple of numbers. At, at Ali, I know they will call you. So I will take Jupal, the two numbers you provided, we we will use both. That is the, the I don't know whether we'll use one or we'll use both. So Ali, you, it's your call. You decide what to do. One for female, one for male. And then we use the overseas number, so it's it's your time, uh, for the for the show. So you you go ahead and announce what we're doing. So Steven, um, let's first announce the numbers, and Michelle will be taking the numbers, the calls, right? So you're not taking calls, right? Um, I wanted to do the statistics of it. Yeah, I think you should do our stats. So we we'll use um, the two numbers. Michelle provided the second and Lone Star plus PR's number. Um, you and so uh, Pastor since, Mo. since they are strange number, we will we announce them over and over. So yes. nobody should call the, the 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 numbers that we usually use, the 542845 number. We are not using that number tonight. Stevie put the number on the screen. Let me call them. So uh, Chupo, those numbers are ready already, right? Michelle, are you there? Michelle, you there? I think he's having... He's muted. No, he, he looked like he froze on. You know, the, let me help me have him something. Ah. He's not, he's not muted. He's frozen. That means yeah. the internet giving him problem. You know, he went out so there. If Michelle, the internet broadcast. is giving him problem, then we'll have to use my number. Yeah. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll... we'll um, uh, oh, he comes back on. He's he's uh, he's 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 uh, I think he's he's frozen. That's the problem with the internet. And imagine we are there in Banga. Uh, so all right, so let's announce my number and um, and um, it was really going to be good to have a female line, a male line, yeah. That's why, so, that so let, let, let give him maybe a few minutes and see. You know, when we have the two, when you have a female then yeah he will come back on let's give him a few more minutes let's give him a few more. And, and, and 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 i think while we wait for him in the next two minutes let's just say this um ali look cdc into you know when i listened to you and sam jackson yesterday i was very uh i was impressed by first by your by the way you you handle the issue and the the level of mastery you've shown over over understanding the issue and and, and this is particularly important because those who represent the up in these public discussions must be armed to their teeth with the information as to how to defend defend their party because it is it is it is when you when you become a surrogate of your political institution you have to read you have to read you have to read because for you to propagate your message for you to convince somebody as to why they should vote for your political institution and for you to make the case as to why you believe your party offers the best solution for the forward march of the nation, you have to be able to, to adequately, you know, um, um, defend your institution. And, and I remember, Ali, you know, when we, when we, when we worked closely with, uh, with Augustine Gafuan during the, uh, the 20, 2005 elections, one of the things he, yeah. he pushed, one of the things he pushed us to do was to be able to read a lot of information concerning the UP, especially President Selif, her successes, her, her career, the kinds of things she was involved with. So we could stay anywhere and just off head and defend the institution. I thought that prepares in a way that you have to be. And so all those who are surrogates of, uh, uh, um, uh, um, of the political party will have to, will have to get involved, read these things. Chupo, are you okay now? We lost you there for a second. So I'll put the number back up. Those two numbers are correct, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so yeah, I will announce the number and then the, the format. Then we'll, we'll open it. All right, so Juba, we have to. Oh, well, one is a Lone Star, one is an Orange. So we'll just leave it for people to call both because um, the numbers to call tonight. Uh, uh, Mo, Mo Ali, yeah. yeah. Can you people add revenue numbers so we can have two diaspora numbers? So I want to take more time. Um, yeah, I'm worried, yeah, about, yeah, I'm worried about how we're but ready to take him, not ready to take him stats. Oh, okay, okay, no, 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 I didn't know. Yeah, ready. So, no, no, yeah. no, it's okay. Yeah, they're ready to take his start. I forgot, sorry. Yeah, you so Ravi and Ali will be taking stats. So, you, yeah, yeah you, can, you can do both. It's okay, let Ravi and let Ravi be there. So, the only okay. thing we need to do, Ali will announce the format. How many calls from Liberia? How many from America? Every time, every time, how many, how many. Yes, yeah, so now here we have three numbers tonight, two for local calls. The numbers to call strictly for Lone Star Lines, 0881 0881-959807. For the orange line, 0776 0776-135148. For the overseas numbers, those who want to participate from the diaspora, you have plus one four zero one. Six eight 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 two six six plus one four zero one six eight 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 two six six and at every point in time we will repeat the numbers because particularly the local numbers they are just new numbers for the show tonight only for tonight now rule one when you call do not explain any plenty thing. The person who you prefer to be running mate to JNB, you just call the name. That's what we want. And your county, Long and where you call it from? We will not call it. Call your name, the county you are calling from. It's important we want to get all those statistics. The county you call from, you call it, and then you, you make your point. The same thing for those calling from the diaspora. Well, for that, we just categorize one as a diaspora call. You call your name and, you know, and, and, and make the point strictly. Again, let me repeat the numbers, then we can start. For the Lone Star Lines, 0881-959807. For the Orange Line, 0776-13. Five one four eight for overseas four zero one of course the plus one four zero one six eight 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 two six six. We hey, Ali, let me also out. announce that if you're watching us online, I'm about to create on the group's page the poll. So if you're watching online and you want to participate, go on the class reloader page and you can vote there also. I will create the uh, poll in the next two minutes. You can go there and vote. If you're watching live and you want to vote, go on the group's page and vote. Thank you. So we can now go ahead. Paul, you can begin to take the calls. This person is live. Uh, hello. Oh, sorry. So we'll take four calls locally and two calls international. Okay, this person is already live. Hello. Okay, so I can go ahead. We can hear. We can hear that. Only you alone hearing that. We got to hear that on air. Yeah, we got to hear them because I need to take the start. Go on here. Uh, 
Halo. Jeboy, if you can hear the person, you go to the next caller. You sure without hearing them, so because the report got to take notes, so we got to hear them on air. If you hearing them without hearing them. I get, I'm getting this person, let's, let's see, hello. Hello. You are very, very, very low. You are very, very low, Chief. When are you, you, you got the phone speaker? Yes, it is on speaker. It is. It is on speaker here. Yeah, yeah why, why do you mean this? The, the, the phone guy is on speaker, Sonny. You got to make sure the speaker is, is high lighter than the voice will be up. Uh, that's that that's that sign only that look like we we screen around it like it. That's the speaker sign. When you knock it, it turns black. I mean, the person will be on speaker. Hello? People getting there now? No. Is that something wrong? I have uh, sorry, I have the the, the the phone on speaker and I'm even using speaker, external speaker as well. Yeah, but yeah, you, you have a caller? Hello? Put the phone to the microphone. Yeah, put, put it close to the microphone. microphone. Like if you don't speak up, put it close to the put microphone. Yes, sir. Hello? Again, huh? No. Okay, let me... Let me take, Let me take this call so you can hear. Let me take this call so you can hear. Check your volume. Hello, caller. Yeah, this yes. This is Junior M calling, calling from Matale. I will take Nyomlikana Lawrence. Okay. So you hear how that was clear, Zupo? Please, please raise your volume. Okay, well, let me take this call up. Got a person behind the last thing he's saying. He said, yeah, call up now. Go ahead. Talk loud, talk loud, Rafael, would I hear you well? Yeah, I think it will be best. Uh, GMB go away, Yomli Kanga. Okay, Yomli Kanga, Larry. So let me, yeah, let me take yeah. this one until yeah, you go, can go, get this set up. Go ahead, Mo, go ahead. Call on there, go ahead. Yes, uh, this is James Hawking, Mo. Yeah? I'm quite from Morovia. Yeah. And Yomli Kanga, Larry. Okay. When you get it sorted out, your boy, let me know. Go ahead, there, caller. Yeah. It is a class real name. Yes. Yeah, I will provide nobody can have Lawrence. Where you calling from? Where you calling from? Okay. Yeah, I'll take this one. Hello, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, good evening. John D. Thomas is my name. I'm the political commentator for Thomas Radio, and I'm based in Masarado County, District 17. Yeah. I've got Yomli Kanga Lawrence, and I appreciate messages every day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Call on the line, go ahead. Hi. Good afternoon. My name is Mark Tupa, and I'm calling from with uh, Sarajan, Maryland. I would prefer Grumbling with JNB. Nyamri Kanga Lauren, thank you. Only the name, we want the story. Next call on the line, go ahead. Clarence Benson, call from Hamilton, Ontario. Nodi, Senator Nodi Kanga Lauren. Okay. Okay, so thank you. Hello, call on, go ahead. I'm calling from the Kennedy, even if you've got senior. Yeah. Senator Lauren Kanga all right. So for now, let me announce to the callers you can call the usual number 0777 542 Yeah, let me take this one. The last Call person, go ahead. Call. Hello. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Your name and calling from where? I'm Hamza Tishpusa, calling from Cloud and Montserrat. Yeah. Yamdi Kanga Lawrence. Thank you. 
Quali, I didn't get that. Next caller, go ahead. Yeah. Well, my name is Pomingo Craig. I'm calling from Montserrado County. Yeah. Nobody can get lawyers. Okay. I'll take this one and turn what to Pia. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, good evening, Mo. Good evening. Yeah, I'm Jackson. We are calling from Chelsea Bay Community. Montserrado, right? Yeah, Montserrado. Yeah, go ahead. Nobody can get lawyers. All right, Pia, go ahead. All right, you can go ahead now. Okay. Mohamed Adam, so call for the 15. Besides this speaking and looking at JMB and Yomri Kaka Loren. Thank you. Caller on the line, go ahead. Uh, from Maryland, so go ahead. I'm from Minneapolis. This is Daniel Yaman, the uh, uh, Pia. Okay, bro. I'm choosing for the Lawrence Kanga Lawrence. Yomri Kanga Lawrence. More to the last one come out to you. Call on the language. Yes. My name is Melvin and Rapper calling from Maryland, USA. Uh Yombi Kanga Lawrence. Yombi Kanga Lawrence. Thank you. More go ahead. All right, call on go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I am Chris Kuli Kali from Labati from the Singer. Yeah, go ahead. Uh Yombi Kanga Lawrence. Next call out there, go ahead. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. My name is Lenny Shema and I come from Buzi Koto. Buzi Koto, go ahead. Yeah, let me come to lunch. Okay. Go ahead, I call on. Hello, go ahead. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, my name is Arthur Smith calling from Motorway Recondi. Yeah. Okay, this one then we'll turn over to Mr. Pia. Yeah, go ahead. I'm UJ Utah from the Kiano Grand Basel County. Mm -hmm. Go ahead now, UJ. Yes, Senator Nobly Kanga Lawrence. Okay, Pia, go ahead. I think the man won't get, you won't get invalid for you. Call them, you're doing the call, call on the land, go ahead. Hello? Yes, man. I'm um, Miss Kuna Kota calling for Iowa. Yes, man. Oh, they want to see a gongler. They want to see a uh, caller on the line, go ahead. Caller on the line, go ahead. Talk to me. Don't talk to the people behind you. Caller on the line from the U.S. line. Are you hearing me? All right. You missed the opportunity. Caller on the line from Minneapolis. Go ahead. Uh, I, I would do uh, Tiawan Gonglo. Tiawan say Gonglo. Mwali, go ahead. Yeah, call up, go ahead. Thank you so much, Mwali. This is Mohamed Waxi. I'm joining you from District 17. Yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. So, Jose Adjima Borkai, my running mate will be not a person, but her excellency, Senator Yomblin Kaga Lawrence. Thank you. Call up there, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm Adam Adelite calling from Montreal. Yeah? Yeah, I support GMB and Yomi Kanga Lawrence. Yeah, call up, go ahead. Daniel Fan is my name, calling from District 3, Montreal oh. County. Okay. Yomi Kanga Lawrence. Yeah, go ahead. On the line from my side, U.S., go ahead. My name is Stephen uh, Givey, calling from uh, the Ocean State in Ireland. Uh, Yombi Kanga Lawrence. Yombi Kanga Lawrence. Um, Stephen, I mean, Mwali, go ahead. Yeah, call up, go ahead. Ah. The guy went off the line. Oh. Hello, caller, go ahead. Hello, Chris Morgan, calling from Maryland. Yeah. Yeah, Senator Lawrence. Senator Lawrence from Maryland. Caller, there, go ahead. Oh, happy New Year, Mo. Happy New Year, Chile. Happy, happy New Year. My, my brother, go ahead with it. We got a lot of people on the line. Just go ahead. This is a, this is a fire. Yeah. 
Thank you, Baku. Yeah, go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, this is Melvin. I'm calling from Kanta. Kanta, Nima County. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Council of Chiawan Gonglu. Council of Chiawan Gonglu. Okay. Thank you there. Next call, yeah, go ahead. Fine. I'm Sylvester the Wayita Pen calling from Bikana to be precise, Grand Basso County. Yeah. And GMB. Okay. Jupal, if you're ready, you let us know. Yeah, let me take this one. Come to you. Hello. How are you? All over Papa SG. Yeah, your name yeah. and where you call from. Uh, my name is Benedict Wita. I'm calling from Nima Day SA Masora County. Yeah, go ahead. Uh have a uh full studio for the United Party I'm carrying Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you have a call? Yeah, I got a call. Out. So, bro, before I take the call, out, call out, we want to take as many persons as possible. When you call, we already know JMB is a stand up bearer. Just name who you want to run with JMB. Lee Oda, oh, Moali, Merry Christmas, your Happy New Year. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking JMB and Yombi. JMB already can just say, my name is John Brown. I call him from this place. Nobody can get Lauren. That was one for you. And before I take the call of Mitchell, you saw your issue all now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you one call that will come to you. So call on the last okay. word. This is John Flange from Arizona. Okay. And I will go with uh, Senator Kanga. Senator Kanga, thank you. Just like that, sure and sweet. Okay, Michelle, try. Let's see. Mm. This person drops a line. No call for now. Okay, this person. Hello. Yes, hello. Michelle, then let me take this call. Hello, caller. Hello. Yeah. My name is Fidel Skule. I'm calling you from Grand Crew County. Grand Crew, yeah, go ahead. Senator Lauren Kanga. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, caller. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. I'm calling from Grand Passion. Uh huh. Senator Kanga. Okay. Go ahead, caller. Hello? Yeah, hello, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, Colo. Hello, how are you? I'm okay. I'm not getting you. You sounded very low. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we get a call. Let me know. Caller, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I do have callers. I do have callers. Yeah. My name is Keith Kelly. I'm going to call you FB. I do join you from Grand Pastor County. I just said, Jerry Kangan Lawrence is my father. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you got a call? Yeah, yeah. Caller, go ahead. Hello. Yes, sir. My name is, my name is David Sengi, calling you from Pennsylvania, Delaware County. I will choose Chiawan Gonglo. Chiawan Gonglo, thank you very much. Uh, call on the line, go ahead. Uh, good evening. I'm not feeling good in Delaware, USA. Yes, sir. Uh, Chiawan Say Gonglo. Chiawan Say Gonglo. Move, go ahead. Yeah, call on, go ahead. Double call is my name. Laurie? Double call is my name. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Call on that go ahead. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I'm going to sleep in college from Brave Master County. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, I'm going to go. See, I want to go. Go ahead, call on. 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Where are you calling from? From Boston, Yarubiri. Which county is that? My Gibi, my Gibi. District 1. Thank you. Call on there, go ahead. I mean, it's first time to you with it. Calling from Bone County, Bunker City. Yeah. Don't be done by Lawrence. Okay. Yeah, you got call. Let me go yeah, ahead. I'll call. I'll, you know that everybody wants to pay, man. So calls, calls can be waiting. Yeah, let me just finish with the person. Go ahead. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm in Nicholas Cuba and I join you from Bata County, Bitano City. Yeah. For, uh, for the benefit of Labrador people, I would chase uh, Senator Yogi Kanga Lawrence. We'll just send them up on that. Thank you. Go ahead, yeah. Uh, call on the line from the U.S. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, you gotta raise your voice. It's too low. I'm calling from New York. Um, I choose um, Councillor Tiawan Gongro. Councillor Tiawan Se Gongro. Tiawan Se Gongro. Mo, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, call her, go ahead. My name is Tiawan Se Gongro from Ganga City, Nima Kante. I go with Tiawan Gongro. Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Yeah? I'm Yata Singu mm -hmm. from Banga City, Bon County. Yeah? Yomle Kanga Lawrence. Okay. Yomle Kanga Lawrence. Yeah, I got it. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Good evening. Good evening. I'll join you on this year, number 13, and Jonathan Kati. Yeah, go ahead. Now you value for them. We are only in. Hello. Yes, I'm George Ward, calling from Grand Bazaar County. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, call up, go ahead. I am a job in Fadia from Grand Bazaar County. All right, Pia, go ahead. Call on the line from the U.S., go ahead. My name is CFO Wanda, calling from Sharon here, Pennsylvania. Nyombli Kanga Lawrence. Nyombli Kanga Lawrence, thank you very much. Call on the line from the U.S., go ahead, your name and your candidate. Uh, Senator Nyombli Kanga. Your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Pennsylvania, Gastonia. Okay, thank you. Nyombli Kanga Lawrence. Move, go ahead. Yeah, call up, go ahead. Yeah. 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 Hello, go ahead. Hello. Hello, caller, go ahead. Yeah. Good evening, I'm taking a phone call from Grandpa Sakandi. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, caller, go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, this is Isaac Tilo from Bangabong County. Yeah. Okay. Pia, go ahead. Call on the line, go ahead. Yeah. How you doing, uh, Pedro Pia? This is Joseph. Can you call him from Bismarck, North Dakota? You're the Kanga Lawrence. Thank you. Call her on the line, go ahead. Call your name. Where are you calling from? Then your vote. Okay. Um, Ebenezer Pratt calling from Georgia. Nobody Kanga Lawrence. Nobody can get Lauren. Call her on the line. Call your name. Vote quickly. Uh, this is Emmanuel Wilma Jackson. I'm calling you from uh, Georgia. And uh, I will take Nobody can get Lauren. Nobody can get Lauren. Move. Go ahead. Hello there. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Go ahead. Calling from Bomi County. What am I saying? From Bomi? Yes. Go ahead. Paris, hello. Darius Delon. Thank you. 
Mon nom, ma mère, et de l'IGA, on vaut Quoi, Kolo? Kolo, quoi? Ça va, j'ai un peu de l'air. Quoi, Pia? Tu peux avoir un ou ton, car le work on your stuff. Tomorrow, yeah, you don't have a call. I have call. Especially from Abuja too. Call on the line. Go ahead. Yeah, too. Go ahead. Good evening, class. Good evening. My name is Dr. Sharif, and I'm calling from Grand Cape County. Grand Cape County. Go ahead. Yeah, I was here. Don't be Kanga Lawrence. Don't be Kanga Lawrence. Next caller on the line. Go ahead. Uh. Call on the line, go ahead. 404. Nato, Toki from Georgia. Yes, ma'am. Nato, Toki from Georgia. Yes. Senator Kanga. Senator Kanga, thank you. Mo, go ahead. Go ahead, Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Call on the go ahead. Huh? I can get you. I just show you quality for the post speech. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, call on. Your Esmire calling from Daforesi. Where? Which county? Which county? Which county? Where? Basso County. All right. Go ahead, Colo. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, sir. Califa Blama. District 2. District 2. Which county? Mosulado. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, the color I have on the line. Apparently, he, he, he patient ran off because he stayed too long, so he hang up just now. All right. All right. Go ahead, color. Yeah. I'm Anthony Dancer from the channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Senator Lawrence. Okay. You have a call? Yeah, you have a call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call on the line. Go ahead. What's it? Roland Doki from Georgia. Roland Doki from Georgia. Uh -huh. Yeah, Gonglo. See, I want to say Gonglo. Thank you. Yeah. Move yeah, away. Where? Yeah. Go ahead, Kola. Hello, Kola. Go ahead. Yeah. Moses King calling from Fuwa's community. Grand Bassa County. Yeah. Yeah, Nubi Kanga Lawrence. Thank you. Hello, Kolo, go ahead. Yeah, go up, good evening. Good evening. It's Bobby Bailey from Swamak County, Bomi County. Yeah. Jeremiah Kuhn. Jeremiah Kuhn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 More, I got call if you don't have call. Yeah, let me get to this one. Where are you calling? Yeah, there's Lawrence and Brookai calling for Charles Omar, you recount it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm looking at Lawrence. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Pia. Call off from the U.S., go ahead. Hi, I'm calling from Louisville, Kentucky. My name is Obento, Senator Lawrence and JMB. Senator Lawrence. Call off from La Bureau, call off from La Bureau, go ahead. Yes. Your name, where you calling from, and your vote. Yes, uh, my name is Emmet M. M. Salo. I'm calling from Ganta City, Nima County. Ganta City, Nima County, your vote. JMB. No, who is the running mate of JMB? That's why we're asking. Oh, the running mate of JMB. Tiawan Gongro. Tiawan Sale Gongro. Go ahead, Mo. Go ahead, Kolo. Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm saying one man, the son of neighbor. 
Call go ahead. Yeah, this is Priscilla Sally from Grand Battle. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm preaching a powerful battle queen. My man, just call the name. Huh? Call the name of the person. Call her, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you want to say, call him from Nimba. Yeah? Yeah, I yeah, want to say, go through. Hello, call her, go ahead. Yeah, good, good evening. This is True Come Back of Goa. Yeah? Yeah, this is True Come Back of Goa from Picana City, Grand Bassa. Yeah. Yeah, Grandpa, the Lunis Senator said the Yomi Kanga Lawrence. How about the old Senator right there? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No call, go ahead. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, call on. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my name is Anthony D. Kamla, and I'm joining from Piano Grandpa Kande. Yeah. Go ahead, that caller. Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead. I'm carrying one of my calls from Cobra. Yeah. I'm going to carry on. Okay. Caller, that go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to give you a call from Tampa City to my company. Yeah. Get your own gong low. Hello, caller. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. This is Emmanuel Swear. From Ganda. where? Jawan say gong low. From where? From Ganta. Okay, Ganta. No, I got to call you. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Call on the long way. Umaru Kengo calling from Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say Gonglo. Yeah, I want to say Gonglo. Next caller on the line from the U.S. Go ahead. Hello. Hey, hello. Yes, sir. I need a chance. I need a chance to like, call in for Columbus, Ohio. Senator Yomri Kanga Lawrence. Senator Yomri Kanga Lawrence. Next caller on the line. Go ahead. Your name, where you calling from? Your vote. Karen from Federal West. Why she tell? My GBS. I go for... I won't say gonglo. I won't say gonglo. Wally, go ahead. Call up, go ahead. Yeah, my dear, station, where's that? 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 Where's Thank you, there. Hello, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my name is Shepard. I want to say, and I call from Ganga City. Yeah? Jeremiah Pankun. Jeremiah Pankun. Go ahead, there, caller. Yes, Michael K. Julius, Nima County, Ganta. Yeah? Uh, Yomi Kanga Lawrence. Okay. Call up, go ahead. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, this is Kibwe, Kaya, calling from Grand County. Yeah. Uh, KMD and Senator Jumbi Kanga, my political leader of Labour Party. Amen. Call up, go ahead. Pia, you get call, you let me know. Go ahead, call up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my name is Mike Jackson from West Rider. Yeah. Senator Lawrence. Pia, you got call? No, not yet, not yet. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Colo. Yeah, go ahead. My name is Alfonso Yovati. Yeah. Kanga Lawrence. Kanga Lawrence from Bon County. Go ahead, Colo. More the man say you didn't hear the call up before the one you get to do. Who that call up whatever? Yeah, go ahead. Sabu Jaya calling for Rural Says. 
Thank you. I heard the caller. He got to take the Hello, look. Hello, caller. Hello. Yeah? Yes, I'm Jerry Logan. Mm hmm From Ganta. Yeah? Uh, Jeremiah Kuhn. Jeremiah Kuhn from Ganta got a capture. Call up, go ahead. You don't with that one. Let me take one call here. Yeah. I am Bill Gamaneka from Nima Kandi JWPS in community. Yeah. Nyombli Kanga. Nyombli Kanga. Pia, go ahead. Thank you very much. All right, call on the line from the US, go ahead. Thank you. My name is Leki Kumala. I'm calling from Syracuse, upstate New York. I want Kewa Gonglo. Kewa wants to see Gonglo. Uh, move, go ahead. Right away. Call out there, go ahead. Yeah, well, this is Stephen T. Calling from Grand Bassa. Yeah. And it's a Kanga Lawrence. Okay. Hello, Kala Kwe. How are you? Fine. Yeah, my name is Swa Bagu. I do come from Bangla City, Bong County. Bong County, yeah, Kwe. Senator Lawrence. Senator Lawrence from Bong County. Kala Kwe. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Well, this is Pastor Mayanga for Tunis Sinka. Yeah. I want Bushele call Lawrence Amukanga, Kanga Lawrence, and JB. Call up, go ahead. Yeah, this is Saladin Sayish Lana, I call from Ganta City. Yeah? Tiawo Gwagro. Tiawo who? Gwagro. Tiawo S. Gwagro. Gwagro or Gwagro? Gwagro. Oh, okay. I thought I heard a man said to you, won't work group. Yeah, you got a caller? Not yet, yeah, not, not yet. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. I'm Onana Nyaku, black company for Nima. Yeah? Yeah, Yombi Kanga Lawrence. Yombi Kanga Lawrence from Nima County. Go ahead, caller. Josh Chetu from Ganda, Nima County. Uh-huh. Counselor. Thank you. Caller, go ahead. Yeah, hello. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, I'm calling for Reverse Study and Uju M. Williams. Nyombi Kanga. Reverse says Uju William, Nyombi Kanga Lawrence. Thank you. Caller, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to be with Kanga Lawrence. You're going to be Kanga Lawrence. Hello? Call up, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. You don't let me take your one call. Yeah. You're listening to the radio. Go ahead. Yeah, my name is Anthony D. Dolo from Cabin Tree. Where is Cabin Tree? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, Pia, go ahead. Call her on the line from Abiro, go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead now. I'm Jerry Maran, Nyombi, Kaka, Lauren, Ness, Bar President. Your name, your name and where you call from? I'm Cyrus Maplet Jr., United Partners from Pakistan. I said, where you call from? You say United Partners. Call her on the line, go ahead. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Pierre and the class. This is Roland S. Kevin. I'm calling from Cabra Estate. Yes, sir. I prefer Senator Lawrence to Ambassador Barker. Senator Nyombi Kanga Lawrence. Mwali, go ahead. More if you got color, go ahead.
more you on mute, we we are not getting you. Mwali, we're not hearing you. You only that caller hearing each other. We're not Sorry. hearing you. We, 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 Sorry, we got two callers from from one from Basso and one from Mosurado. Both of them say Senator Lawrence. Go ahead, caller. From Gardensville, Monserrado. Gardensville, Monserrado. Uh-huh. Nyombi Kanga Lawrence. Okay. Go ahead, Colo. Yeah, everybody want to move on. Oh, hey, hey. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. This is Lawrence Mole calling from District 1, Nima County. Nima County, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Uh, I have uh, Nyombi Kanga Lawrence. Oh my Thank you. Go ahead, you call on. You gotta mute yourself. Hello? Yeah. I'm from the air tower calling from Compass City, Mr. Country. Yeah. Hey, come on, Gonglu. Gonglu. Yeah, come to Gonglu, yeah. Call on there, go ahead. More if you don't, I got call you, yeah. Yeah, breathe go ahead. Radio Wood, Gay Nawa is my new address on you from Grand County. Okay. I want to see Gonglu. I want Gonglu. Yeah, go Yeah, call on the language. Hello? Yes. My family is calling for Ominka. Okay. Senator Lawrence. Senator Lawrence. Uh, call on the land. Uh, where are you calling from your name and then your vote? Uh, this is Amara K.N. Fafungwe. Uh, calling for Fago, North Dakota. Uh, I prefer Nyombli Kanka Lawrence. Nyombli Kanka Lawrence. Yeah. All right. Sarah's my player. You call and voted already. Why are you still calling me? You call and you voted. We took a vote already. So let me. So why are you calling me a second time? We took a vote already. Yeah, boy, I need to take call if you have. Yeah, I just got a caller slipping off the line. Okay, they are back. Call on there, go ahead. On a stone, I'm calling from Nipa County, Ganta. Yeah. Consider Thank you. Yeah, call on, go ahead. Good evening. Yeah. Just a hand summer. Yeah. Looking for Ganta. Yeah. Kanga Lawrence. Kanga Lawrence. Mr. Call on, go ahead. Yeah, Michelle is uh, from Grandpa's Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Call her, Yeah. Call her, Yeah, my name is Junior Quitty. I call you for Bone County. Bone County, go ahead. Yeah, Senator Lomi, Kangala. All right. Yeah, you have a call. I can take this one quickly. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 Good. I got color. Go ahead. Color. Go ahead. Somebody just. We just hold the line for their friends. I'm trying to get this color on the line, please. Yeah. Color. Go ahead. Yeah. This is one minute sharing from Banga. Banga, Bon County, go ahead. Yeah, I prefer the people of Senator Lawrence Kanga. Lawrence Kanga. Go ahead, caller. Hello. Person listening to the radio. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, I'm Vakris, Tony from Ganta, Lima County. Yeah. Counselor, I want to say Gong Club. Thank you. Call on there, go ahead. Yeah, I'm Haruna Rashid Kusa from Blanket Malcolm A. Uh-huh. Nobody Kanga Lawrence. Nobody Kanga Lawrence. Call on, go ahead. Stop listening to the receiver. More if you don't, I got a call in. Yeah, go ahead. Hello? You take the call? Oh. 
Yeah, go ahead. Okay, call on the line from Liberia, go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I wanted to hear you, let me put it on speaker. Okay, go ahead now. Your vote. Nombi Kanga Lauren, thank you. Caller on the line from the US. Caller on the line from the US, go ahead. Uh, my name is Kanto Samara, calling from Fargo, North Dakota. Yes. Nombi Kanga Lawrence. Nombi Kanga Lawrence. Another caller on the US, go ahead. Yeah, this is Thomas S. Freeman, Gulf of Salt City, Utah. And President Gonglo. Yeah, Gonglo. Call up from Minnesota, go ahead. Michael Harris, I prefer you, let me be Oh, Michael Harris, you want me to be vice president? Is he in trouble? Okay, sir. <laughs> yeah, let me take this call up. Call up, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead, Boali. Go ahead. Pia, <laughs> they don't talk. Eh? Emmanuel Johnson, speaking for Grand Basel. Grand Basel, go ahead. Yeah, Tia Wong Gonglu. Tia Wong Gonglu. Call on the go ahead. Yeah, hello. Yeah? This is Prince Tupac calling from Canton, Nima County. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Pekanga Lawrence. Yeah, call on go ahead. Yeah, this is Milton Sewell, they are driving from Nima County, Ganta. Nima County, Ganta, go ahead. Hello, call up where? Ah, so poor guy, you have to for that friend. Go ahead, call up. Yeah, I would have to go to the grandmother. God bless you. Mm hmm. Thank you. Hello, call up where? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Yeah. Go I ahead. From Nima County, People Street, Ganto. Yeah. I protest your own gonglo to be running it. Your own gonglo. Thank you, there. Call up, go ahead. When well, you don't, I got to call you. Yeah, go ahead. Mommy, can I speak here from back in the Grand Cruise City? Yeah, Grand Crew, go ahead. Senator Lawrence, Kanga. Senator Lawrence, go ahead, Pia. Okay, call off from the US, go ahead. Gongla. Your name? I'm Lawrence Nditi Gongla. I'm Gats. Okay, and your vote is for Tia Wan Sui Gongla. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, call off, call off from Minnesota, go ahead. Yeah, um, my name is George Johnson. Um, say the Nyombri. George Johnson, Nyombri Kanga Lawrence. You know, go ahead. Call, yeah. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Uh, All right, Honorable Kuhn. Hello, go ahead. Hello. Yeah? Yeah, this is Steve Nelson here calling from San Basil County. Yeah. Uh, Senator Lawrence. Hello there, caller. Go ahead. Good evening. Hello. Yeah. For the last, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead. This is Charles Samuel calling from Zubata, Jokula. Yeah. And I move for Councilor, I mean, Senator Kanga Lawrence. Okay, Padla, I see you. You say I should check my inbox. Is that possible now? Color, go ahead. I'm taking calls. I can't check my inbox. Color, go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, this is Joseph Tinkaba calling from Lofa, Poya District. Lofa. Yeah. Lofa. Yeah, go ahead. Yami Kanga Lawrence. I need to Yami Kanga Lawrence. Okay, dear. Yeah. Go ahead, Color. I got call. Okay, yes, you. Go ahead. Call up, go ahead. Yeah. Stop listening to the receiver. Just go ahead. Yeah, Calling from where? From the 
Yeah, go ahead now. Yeah, go ahead. Call on the line, go ahead. From America. Hello, um, Abraham O. Calling from Georgia. Over Nobody Kanga Lawrence. Nobody Kanga Lawrence. Call from Australia, go ahead. Yeah, Pia, I'm calling from Australia for the first time. Uh, I hope you said Jawan Gonglo, but Jawan Gonglo is a presidential candidate, so I will go with yeah. Yomli Kanga Lawrence. And who's calling? No, 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 Pia, yeah, we're already marking for Jawan Gonglo. We're already marking for Jawan Gonglo. So, already so, marking so, for so the people saying your statement, I would prefer me, you voted for Jawan Gonglo, so they have marked that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, uh, no, listen to me. Yeah, listen to me. Listen to me. Yeah, what? Listen yeah, I have a few people call over me. Listen, listen, listen to me. Will you listen to me? I'm not the one who is taking the vote. I'm saying the people who are taking the vote because your duty was yeah, not there. Yeah, I have a few people call over the line. Let me take a few. Why are you voting for somebody? Yeah, hello. I have a female call on the line. Go ahead, call on. Hello, I said my name is Comfort MK. I'm calling from here, there we are, pepper fish. Yeah. Yeah. Young B. Kanga Lawrence. Thank you. You want to explain how much for you get? You get one. Hello, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, my mom was calling from Ganta. From Ganta, Nima County, go ahead. I'm voting for Javon Gongo. Javon Gongo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm voting for Javon Gongo. Yeah, yeah. 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 Call out there, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this is D. Nicholas Nancy. I call you from the full city of Michiana. You lie, you call first. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, this is talking to Chipo. I have the reservation. That reservation time, just if you're voting, you vote. Yeah. Call up, go ahead. <laughs> That, uh, that election day, you get rid of this. Yeah, Nima County, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Call out there, go ahead. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Hello? Go ahead, please. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'll go for Mount Barclay. Mount Barclay. Mount Barclay, Montserrado yeah. County. Hello? Yeah, call up, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. How are you doing? Is it something matter? Yeah, go ahead, something. Calling for Bikino Grand Bassa County. Yeah. Ever put in and the more popular. My brother, just go ahead. Nobody can Lawrence, the people who send it up. Go ahead, I call up. Yeah. I say, go back up for Bikino. Your name? All right. Go ahead, color. Oh, color, go up here. You got color? No, not yet. Okay. Color, there, go ahead. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, I'm Wayne, calling you, Wayne, calling from UK. You can find the Mac County, go ahead. Yeah, Mary Bro. Mary who? Bro. Okay. Mary Bro. All right, Mary Bro. We had a part from the Mac. Go ahead. Call up, go ahead. Mike, the way to buy his money at which one is from Bichana? Yeah. Counselor, I don't see a bongo. I don't see a bongo. Call up, go ahead. Yeah, hello, sir. I call first, but you call my phone. is D. Nelson's here. I wouldn't have heard D. What? I call, I call first, but just now when our... our... Call up, go ahead. Who oh, yeah, already mad your phone? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Call up, go ahead. Yeah, you see that? You see that? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yes, I prefer I'm um, Lawrence David and Jay for Grand Battle. I prefer Senator uh, Yomi Kanga Lawrence to be paid for JMB. Thank you. Call on there, go ahead. Hello? 
Halo kalau gue. Ya, Arif mau gue. Ya, kan Ya, wong Halo kalau gue. Ya, yeah, I'm Joe yeah. yeah, 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 Yeah, Moses is calling from Birmingham County, Ekbar, Chagay. Yes, sir. I'm going for Nomrikanga Lawrence. Nomrikanga Lawrence. Can I take the call? Go ahead, caller. Yeah, good evening. Yeah. This is Nicholas Nessie. Mm -hmm. I call from Kiana, from the Lawrence. Nicholas Nessie, one, you've called. This is your third time. Oh, Man, what do I do with that? You call first and vote at Council of Gongo. Hey, what am I looking for? All right. This is, yeah, this is Nicholas Lawrence Kanga. Thank she's you. She's my senator. She's my, she's my boss. Hello, caller. Where? Samuel LGP from Nima, Kanda City. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see Gongo. Yeah, we'll see Gongo. Hello, caller. Where? Hello, Dennis. Do we clear from Kambasa County? Yeah. Nobody can call Lawrence. Thank you. Call up where? Call up there. Hello. I continue on top. Yeah, you got a call. No, not yet. It's after ten. Okay. Hello, caller. Yeah, how are you there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm Mr. Wawa calling from Kukuya Bon County. Yeah. Go ahead, now, Mr. Wawa. Is it is it class video? Yes. Call up, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Call him from where? From Grand Basel? Yeah. Yeah? Nobody can Okay. Hello, call up, go ahead. Yeah, Mo Ali, the one I bought from Basel at Jay Nuka Puba. And I didn't do that for Jay Nuka Puba. You don't want to from Basel. Yeah. Let's set something straight for three. When are we supposed to end? <coughs> it, it will go on one hour 53 minutes. We'll still got some more time. Let's do it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, well, let, 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 the, let the fan there some more yeah. time we have. They will continue. So let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let me take you. this caller. Then we'll go ahead. Yeah, call, call up, go ahead. Then. Yes. This is TV. I'm calling for Jay and Deepo Cops to come into us here. Yeah. You want to do it on the 10 30? Yeah, one gong. 10 15, then we'll wrap up in the 15 minutes. Okay. 15 minutes from now? No, no, yes. no. You said. All right. 10 15, your time. Call up, go ahead. 10 15, we'll wrap okay. up. Okay, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, Mr. Wawa, calling from Kubuya Bongkande. Yeah. Okay, Senator Yomri Kanga Lawrence. Oh, Ali, you got through for the second time. You know, we <laughs> Go ahead, call up. Yes, you are I'm blessed. Calling from the channel city, Grand Basel County. Yeah. And then you're meeting Lawrence. Okay. To get through the line can be a color go ahead. Oh, oh man, talking about yeah. confusion. Why you got confusion? Like, yeah. people ask him, tell him who they want. Talking about confusion. Uh huh. Grand Basel, you're meeting Lawrence. You think that society put in? Color go ahead. Yeah, call him. Call him from where? Rostar gas station, Jacobson. Okay. Call him there, go ahead. Yeah, this is Charles Wolver, calling from Louisiana, Anshia. 
Okay. Great. Caller the Good evening. This is Banga Yeah, go ahead. Call her there, go ahead. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, I'm Imaya C calling from River Says County. River Says, go ahead. Hey, it's on your can all right. Thank you. Call her, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. I'm Avril, so you calling from Big Piano. Okay. Where is Mr. Pia? <laughs> I'm going to take call. Pia, stay. Hey, Pia. Okay. So I'll take call. I'm here. I'll yeah, call. Call. go ahead. I have a call if you don't. I was talking about the other friend. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, call up. Hello? Yeah, call up. Go ahead. No, Pia, wait one minute. Yeah, you're from Banga TV. From Banga. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yomli Kanga Lawrence. All right, Pia, go ahead. On air now, go ahead. Okay, I'm Samuel Peter. The person of the party, the Canal Lara. Where are you calling from? Calling from Digital of Farm, Montreal County. You said nobody can get Lawrence. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. That's my bad. That's a risk. Call up, go ahead. Yeah, I'm Samuel Sophia calling from Vistiano. Yeah. So, uh, can get Lawrence. Okay. Call the where? Hello? Yeah? I'm going from calling from Ganta Abu for Tiawansi Bonglu. Tiawansi Bonglu. Sometimes you can get tired. Yeah, you have a call? No, no, no. I'm, uh, the channel didn't like do well with it. Very, 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 very. Now I'm, I have a call, but I'm finding it difficult to put it on the speaker. So I'm trying there. Okay, I got it. Go ahead, caller. Hi, my name is Melvin Gotti, calling from Nima, and I will go with Senator Yomi Kanga Lawrence. Nima County, Senator Lawrence. We've got nine more minutes to go. Yeah, you got a call? No. Caller, go ahead. Yeah, my name is Harold Blue. I'm sorry from Kanto. Your name? Okay, Ganta, go ahead. Yeah, I join my phone. Go ahead, call on. Hello? Yeah? I'm the Royal Police, calling on Ganta. Yeah? I want Gonglo. I want Gonglo. Call on, go ahead. Yes, good morning, sir. Calling from the SD. I'm going to go to the SD. Okay, call her, go ahead. I'm back. Eh? Yeah? Woo! You missed that call. Call back, go. Somebody said, I'm going to call. Well, I'm finished, I will read the test messages. No, no. Let me get this call on. Call her, go ahead. Hello? Yeah? This is Fendi Lamy, calling from Ghana, and it took his feet. Yeah? Thank you. Call her there. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from Canada. What? The person cheating. The call first. Like we put all we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all these are all up. Yeah. So you hear the voice like that? You hear the voice like that? They, they, now they want to change the voice. You know yeah. they, they, they want to change. <laughs> hello? Yeah, hello? And yeah. these are the same who will be crying for free and fair election 2023. Yeah. <laughs> who? Mahana son, calling from Nima Kane District number one. Mahana son, I need it. Mahana son, I need it, man. I got Mahana son. Follow, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? 
Yes, hello, go ahead. Yeah, this uh, two Glasgow are calling from River says. River says, yeah, go ahead, River says. Yes, and it's American guy. Uh, yeah, I got it already. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, hello, I'm GS Pumu from Bikina from Basu County. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We have got six more minutes to go. And the pool is going on online as well. The number to call locally is 0 triple seven five four two eight four five. Uh calls are dominating tonight from Monserrado, Grand Basso, and Nima County. Of course, we have our diaspora people. After all, we'll tabulate the results by the, the the counties, the diaspora. Let me take this call. Hello, caller. Hello? Yeah. 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 I'm Timothy Richard calling from Compound City, Grand Bastos County. Yeah. Yeah. Senator Nyamdi Kankas, Lawrence. Okay. Go ahead, caller. Yeah. I'm Timothy Simon Sosa from Kamara. I'm calling from Ghana. I support the what's going on. Banga and that's the one gonglo color go ahead. Hello. Don't waste a lot of water. Hello there, go ahead. Yeah, I'm Samaya Duke calling from Five Town. Five Town, Monserrado? Yeah, Monserrado, yeah. 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 Okay. Call there, go ahead. Hello, I'm Emmanuel Fadama calling on this with Logita. Yeah. Call there, go ahead. Yeah, Ruben Kamara calling on Ganta. Yeah. Yeah, one gong glow. Yeah, one gong glow. Call her, go ahead. Four more minutes. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, from where? From Belamu. Which county? Okay, okay go ahead. Yeah, Kanga Lawrence. Kanga Lawrence. Call there, go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, go ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, caller. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah. I'm Mr. Vanim Toto Kenneth. Yeah, from where? From Fatan. Monserrado? Monserrado County. Yeah, go ahead. Then I do it. Eh? Then I do it. Okay. Call up where? Yeah, I'm sorry, B. Joe from Wahoo from Bazaar County. Yeah. Nyombi Kanga Lawrence. Okay. Hello, call up where? Three more minutes. Yeah, there's Archie Kida from Ganta. Ganta, yeah, go ahead. That was still going good. Call up there, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, there are See, I want Gonglu. Call her, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Yes, hello, go ahead. Yeah, I'm Rose Debbie, they call you from Grand Basso County. Yeah. Yeah, you become a Lawrence. Thank you. Hello, call her, go ahead. Yeah. Call up, go ahead. Yes, everyone, you name from Nima County, Ganda City. Yeah. Yeah, one come through. Hello, call up, go ahead. Mo, I got a call from that real you done. Yeah, okay, go ahead, call up. Hello? Yeah. Yes, hello, go ahead. Hello, 
Piatri Gioco. Coro from Adriel Way. Yeah, my name is J.R.D. Johnson, you know, calling for rehab. Uh, Senator Lawrence. Senator Lawrence. Uh, call off on the line from the U.S. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, this is Gary Tobley, the son of Rewasa, uh, Senator Nyori Lawrence Kanga, be the running mate of JMB. Senator Lawrence, don't be Kanga Lawrence. Move go ahead. I don't want to fool Jerry Gay. Call the call it now. Call us. Go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. I'm calling for Grand Bazaar County. Yeah. I think it's just a piece below. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to be from Nicaragua Lawrence. Thank you. We've got one more minute. Go ahead, call us. Hello? Yeah. Call us. I'm choosing to buy Jerry Mane. I'm going to stay with Gongro. Stay with Gongro. Call on there, go ahead. Amos Dolo from Mosserado County. Yeah. Tia Wong Gonglo. Tia Wong Gonglo from Mosserado County. Call on, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Paris Peri. I'm calling from Nibar Yeah. This will be the second to the last call from my end. Go ahead. Mr. Ali. Yeah. Thank you. Let me say good evening to you in the paradise. The name is Kwe William Covey in a journey this conversation from this to the muscle. My yeah. running mate could be the uh the boost leader of Grand Basel County Senator Yomli Kangalo. Thank you. The last call. Go ahead. Call us, start listening to the receiver and listen yes. to the phone. Hello? Yeah, hello. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm here. My PPR calling for Grand Bastard County. Yeah? Yeah. Senator Lawrence Kanga. Thank you. So that, that's the end from mine. Yeah, you got called call there? Yeah, Mitchell, there's a person who wanted to land. Call up on the land. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening. I'm Israel D. Jason from uh, Toledo, Ohio. Uh, I will go with uh, Senator Nyomli Kanga Lawrence. Senator Nyomli Kanga Lawrence, thank you. Uh, Quarter on the line. Uh, go ahead from my viewer. Yeah, good evening. Curry on the PA. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm on Patrick. Patrick, say I'm with you. Yes, sir. Go ahead now. Yeah, go, go ahead and vote. Where the person called from? My name is Patrick C. My name is Patrick C. I call from Tuboro. Tuboro. Nyomri Kanga Lawrence. Nyomri Kanga Lawrence. Thank you. So, Steve, I think we can end it there. Yep. So, um, I hope we can get you to talk back to talk while he's been doing the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, tabulation in the back end. Uh, but I mean, uh, we we we're close. We're close now for the uh, calls. We're not doing the. Uh... But 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 why the people from the studio, when they sit in studio? Why they always have the problem with their call? The same thing is happening when we brought the Bushu Island people on. Yeah, I, I will work with I will work with him tomorrow since we don't come live, right? Um, him and I will do some background working on the on it to see how we can fix it. Yeah, we need to fix it because we need we need that studio in studio called recipient. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we we gotta find well. what's going on there, and so we can be able to take calls in studio. I'll talk to um, I'll talk to the station manager to see how we can fix that. But it's a been interesting uh, voting um so far. Um, I think uh, uh and, and and let us just say yeah, um, our intent here is not to. Um, and as a cause any confusion, I saw some people commenting saying, Oh, you know, we in, 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 in politics, uh, radio stations, um, talk shows, and um, political commentators they do polling. And the, and the, the important thing about this polling is that it helps to guide the, the candidate, and polls are a, a good um, tool that you can use in decision making. 
um, Liberians, um, if they are brave enough to call their name and state where they're calling from and vote, um, their possibility that they will not vote for you is very slim. Normally, if somebody who hasn't decided will tell you that, you know, uh, my vote is my secret. So if they can call in this public man or state their candidate, I think it's good. And and the politicians, they um, don't have to pay attention to this polling. And I've been looking at the online poll also. Um, we have over, um, let me, <clears throat> almost 500 persons have voted already. About 500 persons have voted already. Um, and it's interesting, the statistics there, um, very interesting numbers coming out of there. Um, um, we announced that also on the online poll. And um, if you, that is still running, it, 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 uh, maybe I will allow that to run for um, later on until after the show. And then we will just announce that result also. And it will stay there because it, it has to be there and people can vote from time to time. But it's good that we, we did this. We, it's good that we did this. Um, it's important that um, we continue to do this and we'll do this. There'll be several other polls that we will do here. Um, the last one we did was running mid. We also did a poll as to what Liberians will expect from GMB in his first 100 days. Um, then there's the second poll for this. The next one will be um, the Unity Party. What the, um, you know, look at some other issues within the Unity Party. How 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 they can strengthen their their base. Um, we'll also do some political analysis about county. You know, the pathway to the presidency. We'll come here to the pathway to the presidency. The um, the counties, the swing counties, and the pathway. How 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 to win? We'll answer the question how to win in twenty in, in this year October. So it's good. Um, let me say thanks to Ali Pia for taking the calls and at the same time writing down the numbers. Um, we have to pull with us from Banga. Let me bring him on. One, one, one more Ali and all us are doing the public and drinking. Um, to pull back, let me just say, that, um, you know, in politics, one of the things I'm learning and even here in the US now is that popularity is actually a perishable commodity. I mean, imagine, Stephen, the, the people in Congress went for the sixth vote. The McCarthy still did not make it, and the Congress has adjourned for today. Because they were refusing to adjourn, they kept going one, two, three, four, five, six, and they had to adjourn. And one of the ladies who banned a Mujihadeen for the, 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 the DJT movement, the Donald Trump group, this lady who just, uh, I think was it Colorado, uh, Laura Bobet, who would do everything and anything for Trump. She's one of the, 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 the people who holding McCarthy by the balls. And see, I'm talking to the lady, and guess what she said? She said Trump needs to tell he, McCarthy, that he does not have the vote. But these are both. DJ TJ is so instruct. In fact, when you're talking, they're shaking. And whatever he wants, they do. Today, he can be saying, he calling on the post, saying, you just start doing what you're doing, not good, you have to do McCarthy. And the simple going back to him and say, my man, you rather have to tell McCarthy that he does not have the vote. Don't tell us to do it for him. But there's a guy who, 2016, the man said, I can go in town square. Take a gun and shoot somebody, and the people will still vote for me. And as I'm reflecting, I get looking back in Liberia. And those who think that Color Boy is a, is a, has been popular, and therefore, no matter how he has governed, he's still going to be elected, you're not reading the signs on the wall. You saw I, all, all the senatorial candidates he put on during the midterm were all flocked. They were all defeated. You saw how Thomas fell away. All the money they wasted on him. He was crushed in Monserrado. Not to talk about the person that came for Coletta Weir. Oh yes, political popularity is perishable. And if you're very popular 10 years ago, and you think you're still as popular today that even if you leave the country for 48 days and 48 nights, if money is getting messy, whatever, for more exercise, COVID relief, 
or whatever. If citizens, some of them working for a government, died in cold blood, and you still so, um, are with all those you are as popular as you were yesterday, you're wasting your time. You better wake up. Pop yeah, can I, you. Can I announce it? Are you, no. you always got to stop there. You always do it. When people are speaking, you allow them to learn, then you come in, you don't cut them up. It's constant on your part. I know the results. Left here. Nobody, you, you, I see you, you all do neck, you all be protesting the neck. Oh, one day result instead of even neck. Now, why are you telling the photo do yet? That and I will know our own result already. You know, so we're talking on a serious, then you have to talk about result. That result and I, election is coming to end. We're talking on a serious here. All the things we are doing to the country, other people believe that he's so popular that no matter what he does, he will win. <laughs> and that's the message we're trying to send here. That that popularity you, you are talking about is perishable. And I'm, we are experiencing it right here. You imagine somebody telling DJ TSA, go tell that man he got a vote instead of them listening to him? Good lessons, and I'm enjoying what is happening here, uh, Stephen. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good lesson. Even, even the last election, if it didn't teach anybody a, a lesson, it, it should, because you saw how he was beating even in places he won before. But it's good that we have, um, we voted, uh, we have the results. Um, Ali, let, let recognize Senator Dillon. Uh, thanks for joining us, Senator Dillon. Um, it's good to have you here. Um, Ali will announce the results. Uh, Ali, I want you to just quickly talk about how, where, which in you know, the counties, how many counties yeah. people pull from, and then they announce the result um, so that we can. And then tomorrow we'll do the uh, tonight if you you know we can do the infographics on it. All right, so we are caller from Bomi, from Bong, Grand Basel, Grand Cape Mount, Grand Cru, Lofa, Magibi. Maryland, Monserrado, Nima, River says, and from the diaspora. So let me go one by one. From Nima, from Bomi County, we have one male caller for Yomli, and that was the only caller. Then from Bong, we had nine male callers for Nyomli, one female caller. And for tier one, we are two. For Grand Bassa County, we are 37 male colors for Nyombli, two male colors for two female colors for Nyombli, five male colors for tier one, female none. From Grand Cape Mount, two colors all male for Nyombli. From Grand Crew, two male colors all for Nyombli. From Lofa, one color male for Nyombli. From Magibi County, three colors, male for Nyombli. Maryland, one color, male for Nyombli. For Monserrado County, 37 male colors for Nyombli. Two male for female for her. Three male colors for Tewan Gonglo. For Nima County, eight male colors for Nyombli Kanga Lawrence. And 28 male colors for Tewan Gonglo. Three female colors for Tewan. And five four male colors for Jeremiah Kuhn. Jeremiah Kuhn have one male color from Bomi. From River says five colors all male for Nyombli. From the diaspora, we are 20 male colors for Nyombli, one female color for her, 10 male colors for Tiawan, and two female colors for Tiawan. So the total here we have 126 colors male for Nyombli, five female colors for Nyombli, a total of 131. We have 48 male colors for Councilor Tiawan C. Gonglo, six female colors, total of 54. For Jeremiah Pankun, total color for him, all male, with four from Nima five in total. We are one for Mr. Benin and Yuri, one for A.B. Daros Delon, one for Prince Moi, one for Honorable Jerolime Pia. And one for Mary Bro. Yeah, one for Mary Bro too. So with, I will now calculate the total number of callers from that. 
so we can know our good percent percentages so but you can be discussing the results why i get the total number of colors from there stevie you there I, i'll really want uh, yeah michelle next time use your use your phone instead of the computer so that way you can just put the thing near your phone I don't know how you do, but we'll work on it. Me and PRP, I will show you how. I think uh, somebody spoke to him about it behind the scene before, and we'll do a drive run tomorrow. <clears throat> but I think, I think the results are, are in. My people, y'all hear the result. I am um, there's an online result taking place. The polling. Um, I will while you're having the conversation, I'll go in the back quickly and get that result, and and we'll announce it too. So, Senator, thanks for joining us. Welcome, happy new year. I think uh, since the new year, this is your first time. On the show, um, I'd like to say welcome and happy new year. Let me go in the back quick while you guys are having a brief conversation to get them pulling from the back. So we had a total of thank you 195 colors. Total of 195 colors of the 195 colors. Um normally Kanga Lawrence got 131. Tiawon C. Gonglo got 54. Jeremiah Kuhn got five. And the rest, including Mr. Piag, all got one. Who go manage that? The people who want you. <laughs> the people who want you to be vice president. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't be my friend. But gentlemen, thank you. Thank you so kindly. Um, but, but but before you talk, Nyombli and Councilor Gonglo have not told anybody they want to be vice president, but people just choose them. So yeah, let me talk about you. They don't want they don't tell they want to be vice president. That one they want Yeah, let me talk about. Yeah, when you're talking somebody talk, you can get let me talk about. How the principal yeah, let me talk. Well you're learning from me now, you getting very now. <laughs> no, I'm getting very yet. I get your money, you know. Well, thank you. Um, I'm not regular in class, but I came to class late tonight because I was hosting Henry Costa at my house there, along with the, the team that came along with him from America, along with other COP members and friends. I thought we had a very good time here tonight. And again, welcome, Henry. Um, we, part, we follow the pool, and we want to thank our callers. If you will take note, this is the biggest pool. This is the biggest pool uh, pooling that has been done, I think, in years in Liberia. We will hardly have pool, sampling or pooling, where you have more than 50 or 75 or 100 callers that we almost had 200 callers from across the country and including the diaspora. It says a lot. This is a good sample size. I want to thank the callers. I was keen on, I was keen on, <laughs> everybody leave me, man, I in the, I in VP Bene. I was keen on uh, um, listening to where callers are coming from across the country. If, you, if, if most of your callers who prefer you will be concentrated in one place, it's not a bad thing, but it's not too good. If your, if your support base is appealing and comes across the country, people calling from Grand Cru, from Cape Mount, from the diaspora, uh, from Lofa, from Bond County, and your appeal base is expanding across the country is a good thing. And so um, without us influencing anything and the people put the credit in their phones and the call, I can imagine, I know when I'm, post, when I'm taking calls on these kind of things, there are hundreds of missed calls and even the calls that we receive to get on the, on the line. So there were hundreds of others who were attempting to call, probably, who did not get through. We thank them as, as well. Uh, I know that 
I'm the principal, but I'm not, I'm not the host. And so I will leave it to Stephen Johnson and Mo Ali and you guys to do the proper final announcement. And then we can congratulate the winner. The winner is not the vice president of Liberia. The winner tonight is not the running mate to Joseph Boaga. Joseph Boaga will be the one to choose or select his running mate and we'll, and we'll decide from there. But whoever the winner is tonight, we we'll congratulate the person. And I will suggest to this class from time to time, all announced, from time to time, all announced. I think we should carry on the kind of exercise so that we can continue to have a feel of what the people believe, what they feel, and what they're thinking, and which way they have decided that they will go. I will pause for now and allow you guys to flow. <clears throat> All right, thank you, Senator. Um, thanks. Uh, let me let me announce the. You know, I just checked the online poll. We did a, as the show was going on. As the as the online poll was going on, we also as the the the, the calling poll was going on. We did an online poll on the page. It's still running, but the results so far, um, based on on the uh, the the numbers I've seen there is that uh, we have. And this is interesting. We have 535 persons um, that have voted. 535. Um, that number will claim as the day goes. But for now, we have 535. Yeah, I saw persons. that. Yeah, yeah 535. Uh, out of that 535, um, Senator Yombli Kanga Lawrence has 330 votes. 330, that's 330, uh, representing 61%. 61%. So that's 330 votes representing 61%. Um, the next person there is uh, Councillor Tewon C. Gonglu. He has 160 votes. 160 votes um, representing 30%. 30 30%. Uh, you have Jeremiah Kuhn. Jeremiah Kuhn has 16 votes. 16 votes uh, representing 3%. Um, ben and I wait for Yuri has 13 vote, one three, 13 vote, uh, representing two percent, and then uh, Prince Moy has 10 votes, um, 10 votes representing one percent. The remainder percentage is for others, we just said others, so that uh, because there will be other names people want to call. So, but these are so we have 535 votes online so far. Um, Senator Yobri Kanga has a commanding lead of uh, 61 percent. Followed followed by um Tewon Gonglo, 30%, Jeremiah Kun, 3%, then in our way for you, 2%, and Prince Moy, 1%. So that's it for so for, for, let for me honor. make it clear. Let me make it clear regarding the online vote, especially the pool aspect. One person can vote more than one time, unless you get three different profiles. Yeah, the way I structure, you can vote more than one time. The way it's structured, one person can vote more than once. Unless you get 10 different profiles, then you can vote 10 different times. It means you yeah. got to log all of your profile. Come buy a new profile. Yeah. 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 Press that button, and my vote is registered. The only way I can vote again, unless I change my profile, my password, and everything to a different profile. Yeah. So before people think that oh, online, Facebook or social media voting, anybody can vote more than ten no. times. No. no. Once you vote one time, so if somebody got three hundred votes, it means three hundred persons voted for that person. If somebody got 100 votes, it means 100 percent voted for that person. We have to make it clear so people can understand. Yeah, and, and the good thing about it also, you can click on the the vote and see who all voted. Who all voted? And you and yes, you click on it on that person. Everybody who have voted for that person will see, and you will not see one person two times. Yeah, no. So, Stevie, Stevie, I wanted yeah. you to come back. What's the percentage of the online vote that the percentage of the online vote again? So you got 535 votes in total. Yeah. Uh, Senator Kanga Lauren has 330. Um, that's 61%. Um, Tewon Gonglo has 
160, which is 30 percent. Um, but then our welfare you has 13, two percent. We represent two percent. Uh, Jeremiah Kuhn has 16, representing three percent, and uh, Prince Mo has 10 vote, representing uh, one percent of the vote. So the total of 530. But I know, I know by the time you go back now, it will increase the amount yeah. of people voting. So we'll keep it there for some time. Let more people vote um, so that we can. But that's the total we have. So Ali, you've done with all your tabulation in, in, in the, for the for the live. You can you can you can keep it there until Friday. Then yes, call yes, it out. So yeah. For the for the call in vote, we said Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence got one hundred thirty one out of one ninety five. That is sixty seven point two percent. I'm taking the top three now. Yeah, yeah. And then mm -hmm. Councillor Tiawong Gonglo got 54, and that is 27.7%. .7%. And Jeremiah Kuhn got five, that is 2.6%. So there's a there's a consistent trend with the call in and the and the foot. That's, the foot that's what I wanted to talk about. Yeah. The consistency is there in the 60% and The consistency is there. Hmm. Interesting. So it, yeah, you know, when you talk about the system, 1%, I say, well, let me do the percent calculation from the call in two. And then what I did it is the 67%. And there, that's a consistency there. That's an interesting thing. Uh, uh, um, and to pause. So, I just, 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 I Maybe you draw a small thing for the result. A uh, smiley? What do you want me to smile? Huh? Maybe the bell will get out of here. Why you hardy in favor? Maybe the bell will get out of here. Why you hardy in favor? I'm not hardy. I'm lifting your side. I don't want you to see you. See that? I don't want you to enjoy your show. Say you. Say the, you get out of here. Maybe the bell will get out of here. I get out of here. No, no, no. You gave me no Christmas. I'll be at all. No. We give you Christmas because you got Christmas. The people who sort of give Christmas to, we made it, the poor call and get a Christmas. Yeah, so that was a new year. That was a new Christmas. Oh, okay. You mean 20 minutes for New Year? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you bought my man. Uh, 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 that, that's it, there. Somebody, somebody passed some kind of incredible information to me that I put in our room. I said, send up recovery. You know, they only responded, man, they said, oh, no. you, you see, you're in a chat room. Oh, and you call. You even know what I do. You say, you must go. He just said, oh, they were free. You were free anyway. <laughs> but you God, you're not taking all people for calling. You know, they put a chat room. So who get chat room for? Who get in a chat room to all that? Let me talk about who get in a chat room. They put a chat room. Yeah, so, so, oh, I'm not taking all people to take you back. They put a chat room for the phone, the call, the show. Yes. You know, thank you to all of them, man. That's yeah. You know, I mean, and to Paul, we gotta work maybe, on your Maybe, stuff. maybe yeah. if Paul was okay, we were gonna have even more than that number of calls. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Would have. You know, um, I I think people have more interest in 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 this this time around, and they want to have a seat. So somebody say, "Oh, you want to cause confusion? Look." The way like we are looking now, now. Oh, somebody, somebody telling you that? No, someone was commenting. They say oh, they want to bring confusion. Everybody has interest in what happens in this country moving forward, because people have realized that when you elect a bad government, everybody suffers, except exactly. for the bad people that you elected to power. That is the thing. The people who you elect, when they do, when when they are doing worse. They don't suffer, they enjoy because they are losing the country's resources. You will go in the line under the hard zone, under the, the rain to vote, you suffer. So this time around, the people say we want to have a say. We are not going to dictate to the standard bearer to say, take this person. But, but the standard bearer will look at the trend this is not the first time. This is the second time we are doing this. And the consistency in the percentage of the votes that Yombi is getting. But besides the class reloaded, every other station that has conducted opinion pool 
or who should be running mate to JMB? From the Spoon Network, the Fabric, the OK FM, the, 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 the Bushroad Radio, all of the radio stations all over, there has been a consistent call that we want Nyombi to be the running mate. Now, we are not saying Joe Bakai select her, but the voice of the people matter. Yeah, the, Mali, Mali, the, the American Mali can Mali. say, the American can say, they say woman lie, men lie, <laughs> but numbers don't lie. Exactly. And when these numbers are consistent, we want to win election. There are times if you don't listen to the people, they get weak. They sit down. And this is not somebody from Liberty Party talking. This is me. You don't want to weaken your base. There was a time in this country when the entire majority of the opposition thought it should be JNB and Comis. Yeah, Quaker Comis. Yeah. There was a time in this place, JNB, ABC. That did not work. Now the people's attention has shifted somewhere else. And they have made up their mind. There are people I talk to Stephen. They will tell you, we're waiting to see who the running mate will be. Now, this notion that somebody will think, say, oh, anybody somebody select will just go with it. It doesn't work like that. Some people will want to support you because of your running mate. Of course. But that's but you look, at least strategically, why you think uh, uh Biden chose Kamala Harris? You know, um, why it is true that the Democratic Party represents no, 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 Ali does not like those American examples. That's why when I give the American example, the American be trying to call me up. No, give me an example about Russia or Ukraine. Now I'm listening to Stevie. I'm listening to Stevie. I don't know who the bad person is. But in PR, you know the interesting thing? When you ask Everybody, almost every Liberia you ask, beside Liberia and America, they know no other vice president. Yeah. You know what I say, right? I, I, myself, I don't even know who's a vice president in Sierra Leone, in Guinea, in Nigeria, in Togo, in Benin, in, in Cameroon. You know, I don't know any of these guys. But the reason no, why we to see, but strategically chose Kamala Harris. You know, she brought she brought to her ticket that that youthful exuberance. She was she was she was she was she, a female to get the women vote. So there were a lot of other things he talking to consideration. He had other guys he would choose from, but he was looking at the demographics. For many years, since Hillary contested came close, the glass ceiling that prevented women from taking power were cracked a little bit. 27 million, crack, according to Hillary, because she had over 27 million of popular vote. So there were 27 million cracks in that city. How do you break it? How do you break those cracks? And the way to break those cracks was, was to bring another black woman who would this time around come closer to the presidency, which is Kamala Harris. And that's why Biden chose her. She represented the demographic, the young population, the that youthful exuberance, the female factor. And all of those things came into play. And that's why the election was, was one of the easiest elections. You saw how even states that Biden, that the Democrats don't win traditionally, they started sweeping those states. And Donald Trump, the only thing we could hear Donald Trump do is to say, stop the count. <laughs> because he was being bombarded and flocked across the U.S. at a pace that he himself could not understand. And we saw the trend when the election started in the morning hours Donald Trump was leading the polls. You were leading the exit poll. You were leading even the result. As we went into the midnight hour, into the morning hours, we started seeing a tremendous change in terms of how the vote trend was going. That is important to pay attention. So running mates are essential to your winning strategy. And in our part of the world where um, you need to win counties, this is why strategically people choose running mates, that they can be able to to, to collect their own vote with that of the VP so that it, it, it places you, it catapults you in a position where you have a better chance of winning. And, and that's why you have to pay attention. We saw, even in Liberia, you saw Charles Taylor selected uh, 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 strategically from Nima County because she wanted to have that Nima connection with the revolution and with the population of Nima. You saw 
you and and and, and the interesting thing about for us with with the pass of people for example who've not who've not really getting a chance for us to to be very close to power in terms of presidency vice presidency so well who knows this could be a perfect opportunity for the pass of people to to unite around a candidate and vote in, in ways that uh, are unprecedented. And if you look at the demographics of the country, the Basel Belt is one of the largest belt in the country because it cuts across almost the entire country. It's Basel itself, it's Riverside, it's Maggibi, it's Monserrado, it's in Bon County, it's in Nimba County. So you see that particular stretch of the country is, is, is that Basel Belt. Uh, 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 Stephen, even though we don't control the other radio stations, but I see a lot of radio stations consistently doing uh, the presidential polling. Uh, you can see that JMB is winning most of those. Most of those. Um, I don't know whether their interest can be drawn to the fact to also try to pull who should JMB running may be. So that in the end, is that old Omar Oklah really that people there don't drink a thing or that nobody know what they're doing there? You know, if other outlets could start doing it to help to inform or yeah. to help JMB, because no, they've been doing it. But really. You've been to it many times. Okay, FM, Joy, FM. Forget about Bujo. People were just ordinarily and assumed I that was. Yeah. Because who did it? Yeah. 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 So, so Joy, <laughs> FM, Okay, FM, Fabric have done it. Okay, FM did it for Joseph Waga, normally one. Okay. For running mate. Okay, FM did it for uh, for Cummins, and the people voted for Yeka to be his running mate. <laughs> the same happy, the same happy at Joy FM. Yeah, so I mean, do, those all of stations that are coming here can together, huh? that's more together. Yeah, so I just want to be able to know that stations in Liberia have been doing. No, it's, not, it's good information for me because I've not followed any of them. I only follow yeah. presidential level stuff. Yeah. So Chupo, you 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 all the way there in Banga City. How is how is nightlife? Is Banga how the economics? The, how people relate in the, 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 the hard time. I learned, okay, I was reading a post by a journalist from Front Pay Africa in in, 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 in Bon County, and he was talking how the um, the the current trend in terms of the politics is swinging. Bon County is most likely to go in favor of Joseph Walker. I don't know what, what the ass take he was using, but I was reading a comment. Generally, how are things in Bon County in terms of the politics, the uh, the economics, the nightlife? I remember those days when we lived in Banga, Banga Broad Street, where you had Fat Boy High, he, he chef used to go drink pepper soup there. That Broad Street used to be lively. Uh, you know, I, I I used to live um, to going towards the Methodist Company over there, around the gas station over there. On on, on. so uh, you know, we hang out all in Banga those days. Um, Banga used to be lively. How are things generally in, in Banga? Well, uh, firstly, Banga is not bad. Uh, but for the issue of of, of uh, the lights, yes, we have some lights here. Uh, most especially uh, the street lights that were planted by the president. And it was actually initiated by some civil society groupings. And then the government actually followed and they actually planted some lights here. Uh, but others are saying it's not sufficient, by the way. And there are other places here, I mean, that still needs to have light. So you talk about the metalist compound way. But right now, the place is like a death trap for people. Because that place, I mean, is actually on record for being, I mean, the, the hallows for criminals. You observe that seven o'clock, people from this part of uh, the country usually don't play that role. I'm talking wow. about the metalist role. Of course, if I students from the school, I'm talking about the metalist school. Yeah. Students from the school, you observe that if they are coming home and they are usually attacked by the Zogos and efforts by the Liberian National Police one chapter have actually been installed where they have actually put some measures in place, but yet things are not working out. You observe that they will go and and they will actually clear those guys from the place. Even before the, the, the day can go to an end, those guys will actually go back to that same place. And students coming from school can usually be attacked 
by those guys. And and I mean, the place is actually is is actually like a death trap for people at the moment. So usually they do their thing and then they run. I mean, go in the bush and use it as a hiding place for them. Uh, so for the economic situation here in the central region, uh, you know it is it is it is no secret where things really hard, hmm? things things really really hard, and just like other parts of the country, Bon County people are actually finding it difficult. You observe that some basic commodities, I mean they are they are actually their prices are actually high on the market. Things like like oil, oil, oil gallon is 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 very expensive. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it, it is around four thousand dollars plus. And uh, I mean, from its I mean initial amount, it was something around three thousand something. You mean for the you mean for the five gallon container? Yes, the the very big one, the, yeah. the very big gallon. Is it five, that's the five gallon. Ball? Red or aqua oil? Aqua oil. It, it is something even more than that. Aqua oil. You observe that? Jesus. <laughs> I said it is. It is. It is even more than that. You observe a flower bag, uh, onion bag, and I said those basic commodities. They are. They are really expensive here. You know, people. Wow. People attention can usually be drawn to the issue of rice, huh? But. Those other commodities are even going up by the day, most especially in this part of the country. And others are saying this is uh, the central region. In fact, I mean, some people can be like, it is necessary to go back to the farm, easier to go to the soil. That's another means of going back to the soil. What, what others are saying, but, but the living condition in this part of the country, it is really hard, I shouldn't lie. And, Wow. That alone, it is of no secret at all. Hmm. Yeah. But guys, mm -hmm. I will go almost three hours. Um, so let's let's begin to wrap up. Chupa away there in Banga, he has to go home. Um Ali and other people um have to so um let's 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 begin with you. Uh Ali, you were to the the uh the uh, the craft, right? Ali, can you hear me? We'll do the graph for those results and share it tomorrow. So, Stephen, so the, 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 I mean, as, as distant as it is, so in all of our pooling here, consistently, the only person who've come uh, following Nyobli is Councillor Tiawan Gong. Not even any of the folks who are part of uh, JMB's own party. Mm -hmm. I get taught to, to note that uh, consistently. Yeah, and and, and 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 something else I just wanted to talk about, I was just looking at it somewhere. So there's this student who had, I think, got missing and died. At the Paris. And I'm told police have finally concluded that he died by drowning. But then if you look at the remains posted that says the man died by drowning, the man in you know, a bootless sneakers. Who goes swimming and wear bootless sneakers or shoes or so? I thought when you swimming, when you go swimming. You take out everything that on you, your trousers, your shirt, your feet, wear everything, and you swim. But I mean, the body is there. You can look in the chat room, you see the bear is in your sneakers. Do you bootless sneakers for that matter? Not any kind of sporting something to say. It's too thin. I, I don't know who does that. And, and it comes back to the point that Revin made from the beginning of his show. All these killings, sometimes the way they, 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 they get investigated. You don't see any real urge on the part of the, the people responsible to do anything thorough. They just want to conclude and put matter behind them. They just, they just come to the public with any kind of result and say that's it. And people, everybody's so stupid that we're supposed to say, yeah, it's true. They may wear the wool sneakers to go swim and all those kind of stuff. No fabric. You follow the situation with the, with the student, the girl from, 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 from Adao. You know how long the, 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 the killer disappeared. What they've done to be able to trace him in the end, he's been brought to justice. At least it's still, it can still happen, but if people are doing this thing and there's accountability, it serves as a little bit of deterrence. But people are just killing people across our country and 
you know, the, the unprofessionalism in the part of the security force in the way they fail to, to hold people accountable can just embolden people to do more. And the innocent people who are suffering every day, people who should be people in the future of the country can depend on just being killed. That's where I see in a uniform in time, meaning yeah. what, 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 what nonsense is this? And Pia, you talk about it. One of the things we don't see is that rage. You know, that rage. When anything happens where people get angry and take to the street, that rage. I don't see everybody get quiet. Oh, and, the, and, this, so and this attitude, even for the time, it does that. From the we know how difficult it is. Quiet. Yeah, to bring out a child, you're a parent. Senator Dillon there is a parent. We know what it takes you born a child more early. Everybody here got children. You know what it takes. You born a baby from one day old. So probably the period that little boy on with a vector as a senior student. You know the investment, the pains, the everything that it took that family. And in the end, he just died in a stupid way, and somebody would not even care to do anything tolerant and just say, go oh, even drop a granny. The sneaker all on your feet. That's just one instance. But look at all this. Look at it, the missing ball. How many times they put Rondo? They put leaving the proper judicial funds and Rondo law maker them and they don't them because the system is selling them. So they got to be calling on politicians to say, hey man, they put that, nothing happening. Nobody call on politicians where we are. The law ensure that people are held accountable. While Liberia is just a strange place. You can't even protect your own citizen. The fundamental thing of that's a responsibility of any government. My younger daughter just ate. I'm not a headache. I have half for her to reach eight. The other one is twelve. I know why he has taken. Got a twenty-seven year old son. Been into taking things to get him to that level. And imagine that girl one money somebody came stupidly and there's no accountability. Too annoying. Sorry, Dad. I'm no, it's good, man. Hold on, Perry. Yeah, we know what. You know, you know, you know, you know. You know, you know, you know. So wake up. You know, you know it is uh, uh, it is certain that that uh, the security is not being supported by the government, and even if they are supported, are they really doing the constitutional duty? I doubt it. And my days in Liberia serving as a law enforcement officer, I had the passion to serve, to serve the people. And as a police officer, your responsibility is to have the passion to serve. But if you don't have the passion to serve, you cannot serve. You are just there for yourself. And it is unfortunate that the police director, when he took over in, when they took over in less than two months, we saw the police director carry almost six bodies at Corwell, New Georgia, to go and bury overnight. We, we were Abraham Roberts, funeral home. I don't know if you all can recall. It took the citizen to put a hook to it. And we could see the blood dreaming, dreaming from those bodies. And when that happened, that was just after the time Cordillo Crab took that, well, went to launch a campaign in District 13, and people were attacked, and some were allegedly killed or missing. So, what do we have? After the election, what do we need? The entire police force need to be overhauled. That that's what I think. I think they need to be overhauled. Some of them who are no, there, no, no, okay, no, very more. Go ahead. No. Liberia, generally, generally, how the tendency to see and follow their leader. Liberia, generally. I was in the internal government, the farmer council government that like ushered in the Taylor elected government. I was at the Ministry of Justice. All of the Taylor government were SOB, right? 
Ou a SOD. Et on a SOD pour comme il va ouais Sonny Rabi et du corps et puis un SOD pour arrive. They will beat up everybody for the ask what happened here. Then they finish beating the complainer all for the hour. So that's how brutal the police was. The same people in that SOD uniform from Taylor Town, Judy Bryant Town, transitioned to the Ellen government. They were in that uniform. Their behavior changed. Their behavior changed. Because they saw early, they saw early administration try to be democratic, observe human rights. I'm not saying nothing odd happened under the early administration. I'm not saying it was all angelic. I'm saying when the people that you govern over, when they see your conduct, they will conform. Under early government, Peace be to her ashes. She said she didn't want Paul Mawa in her government. She might not even be, he shouldn't even be on his on her transitional team because of his record as police director. On her early government, she said, the yeah, man go near the police. The same people who were in the police uniform during Taylor time, they were in the police uniform telling time. During Taylor time, when you send for the police, Especially as of the when they finish beating you, then they ask you what happened here. Maybe including you, the complainant, and ask them for intervention. On any time, the same police, the same people in the same police uniform used to come and, and behave as a civil police force. So it depends who is in charge and what the people see, who is in charge doing. When you have two of your citizens die in a car, and the leader of the country, the chief magistrate, the chief law enforcement officer of the country, the, the president, say maybe they were doing boyfriend and girlfriend thing, you compromise the investigation. When you have three Liberian citizens missing or said to be missing, no full conclusion, no full closure to the issue, and the leader of the country has not even spoken once to show concern, once. You expect that. When you have the city police, when you, when you have the city police recruiting more partisans in city police uniform for the purpose of different, different, when you have non-state actors, non-state actors like general power, how they call him general power, I call it killers, as killers, who are seen publicly with state police, state security actors, carrying guns and, and performing state security duty, you expect these things. When you have one leader who will respect the dignity of the human being, human life, who will respect the civil liberty of the people, then even the people in the police uniform will perform, will conform. They will transform to the new norm. Look, I said here as a senator, but I said here also as a Liberian and a father. How many times we have not summoned all the security people before us? How many times? What did this country not do to Nomi Kanga Lawrence when in her anger, in her passionate anger, Roger's anger, wasted tea on Sir Joseph for aborting? a Sunday session that we call on our letter. Nyomli Kanga Levels wrote and said the rape issue in the country too much. Insecurity growing. People dying, no hair, no tail. The mysterious deaths, unanswered mysterious deaths increasing. Let's call our security people to find out what happened. And that session was preserved. We had a Minister of Justice, the Minister of Defense, the NSA, the EPS, the police, immigration, fire service, DEA, you need any security apparatus in the country. Their heads were sitting before us in plenary and were asking questions to know what we as policy makers need to do 
to help you with the growing insecurity in the country and the, the, the rapid wave of rape and mysterious deaths across the country on our people. What happened? Herman Yala filed some motion to abort the session in South Joseph, not the Gaba. And normally in her righteous anger as a mother, as a leader, thought it was wrong. Like in any parliament where people can go off, she wasted tea that she was drinking. And look, and I'm not trying to make up for Nyombli. We'll go to session, we send for tea, coffee, that thing sit down even up for hours. So that we hardly finish it. It was one of those instances where some unfinished tea Nyombli was drinking cold and she got angry because of where Sir Joseph then aborted the session. When we wanted answers from the security people to find solutions to the problem. And they are her in the name of partisan politics. And she got angry and wasted the team on Sir Joseph. They could have beat, they could have beat in Yombri rather than getting angry at Sir Joseph and for doing that. So you see, the people in the uniform would, would do exactly what is what they see the leaders doing or what the leaders instruct them to do. When the president of the country said, get CCTV camera, it only says that he has dropped the ball on his own responsibility. When the president of the country is assuming that people die in car because they were doing sex, boyfriend and girlfriend, two married people, professional people. When the president jeopardizes their, 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 their investigation, their death like that, what do you expect? So sometimes it's not the people in the uniform. It is us, the national policy makers, the leaders, how we treat these people, we demotivate them. The professional ones are sidelined. The ones who take our partisan instructions are the ones that are elevated, sometimes non-professional. How many persons in the EPS today who are not in our uniform only because they were with job we are from 2005 and, and doing battle crime we are in the West? How many of them? All the professionals are sidelined. It's a sad thing. The only opportunity we get, we move this gang from over this country this year. Once we have life, God grant us life, grace of life. We move this gang from over this country. John Weir and their gang cannot stay in our mansion one minute after 2023. Should not stay in our mansion one minute after 2023. And a way to do it is for us to remain focused for us to stay together, for us to get the right message, for us to believe what we're doing together so that it can happen. It is painful. It is painful, Stephen. And we are trying to monopolize this particular segment. It is painful. We are having to show my face on the camera. I, I got all the mouth on my but I'm a very emotional person when it comes to the, the, the life of people the security of our citizens, especially the vulnerable ones. Every morning you get up, every morning you get up, every day you get up, some kind of day by day. Look at that. Who swims? Who swims in shoes? Especially who knowingly, consciously swims in shoes? Who? The gang. <clears throat> Just we are in a gang that's wrecking this country, that the people have not known the depth at which this country has been wrecked because George, we are just sitting down on a hole, the dog. You will not know the depth of the hole that these people are sitting on unless you remove them. If you keep them there and, and, and you remove them later on, you will not believe that this country will have gone back more than 50 years without one gunshot. And I speak from where I speak. And I, uh, um, as we return to session, I think what they're doing bombing with the Western cluster and company one transport iron ore from bombing by road to Morovia to the Freeport, it would not work. A senator of this county, now one truck of ore will be transported by road in populated area to free of Morocco. Any company that wants to transport iron ore from one point to another, when you train track, you'll be the railroad. But, but they did not transport already. Where? 
It's at the port, as I learned. No, no, it's not. Now one truck of iron ore will be bombing to come Ali, through Montero Canal. Is there any information that is already at the port? No. Now one, now one ore by truck will leave bombing and pass through Montero Canal while I'm Senator Barrow. The Senator, Senator health, Delo, the Senator Delo. of our people. Mm -hmm. I think you have to do some investigation in yeah, that. I know there are some trucks at the port already. We've had people told us even yesterday that at night they are transporting. They're transporting at night. They're at the port. They're not ship yet. But not they at, to day, at night. Good so information. You need to do some investigation. Good information. Good information. We, we, we learned that was yesterday when I was on the radio, Everybody someone sent me information confirming what I was saying because another person had told me. They say at night they do the transportation. And they were doing it before to nail the bus stop. Yeah, so you need to investigate it properly. Just go. I ahead had a there. discussion today. I had a discussion today with high level leadership of the Senate and some senators. You see that? That nonsense would happen. It won't happen. No country allows iron ore to be shipped by road to populated areas. Exactly. You can you can kill the country. Why you think when early NATO was bought over by some company and, and China, you and the whole entire Western cluster, why you think all of the early administration that even brought early NATO and it was sold by a bought by another company? Why you think all of the entire UP government, early NATO or that company did not ship one IO for bombing by the road? Because the UP led government insisted that they must perform to the contract that said they should build a railroad to transport the oil. That is why, even though that deal was signed under the early UP administration, but no oil was shipped. It is under the jobs we are greedy gang administration. They enter into an MOU just to get five million dollar quick, just to get money quick cash on hand so quick. Senator Delon. As, yes. as as we are talking about this, I'm even having a caller on the uh, on my phone, and they, and and he's telling me they start the transportation of the oats at night round eight. They do that up to two three in the morning. Good, good information. Good information. Well, I'm gonna pick this. I'm gonna pick this issue up tomorrow. And, and, and the guy is not only stopping there, he's even giving the name of the company that is transporting the the, the old, they call them efficient logistics. Go, uh, please uh, take uh, the uh, full uh, name and send it to me. Uh, Ruben take the group. full name and send it to me. Efficient logistics are Ruben Cato then group. You, Take you, the phone name and send it to me. But you know, they, decide, decide the environmental... The environmental aspect. impact is a they, report, they, assessment they report, all of that they stuff. They we have not seen it in the legislature. Exactly. And they went tear on the road. You know, um, in America or in developed country, the people get certain tonnage of vehicle that can, that can Correct. pass on certain road. Correct. You, you, you Correct. can't have a certain tonnage of vehicle riding in in residential area or on road that are not built oh, for them. Yes. So imagine Correct. the, the wear and tear and the damage is happening. More on the road are you mute yourself before you throw something on the player. <laughs> imagine the no, wear and tear. I'm with the guy, so I'm just telling him to send me the names of the trucking company. And he and wants to give us information live. Like, like, and he that. wants to give us information live for his own life. I will call him now. But still, go ahead. Why more calling him? Yeah, I'm saying they, they besides the environmental um, impact on the on the citizenry in terms of the exposure to to some of the chemicals because they old, they not just they not just raw. They have to do some little bit of chemical processing. So passing it through a populated place, the environmental hazard. Take into consideration also the wear and tear on the road. Um, so those are things that we have to take Correct. into consideration. Oh, you know, so Senator Dillon, we have the guy here, but for security reason, he won't call his name. Yeah, go ahead. Chief. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, good evening, and good evening to all the family for the class and also to our principal, Honorable uh, Darius Dillon. Yeah, so what what is it about the transportation of iron ore from top member? Well, iron ore, like I said, iron ore, first of all, as, 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 a, as a citizen of body, 
and and I, I want to use this time to also uh, uh, tell you, tell me, tell you, tell me the family that we should fight and tell us to see how best they can do any the real investigation regards to the, the iron ore that been taken from Bonnie. Yeah. And somebody, uh, because in our MOU, if I see... No, so what we want to find out, Chief, what we want to find out, do they, are they transporting iron ore by truck? Yes, the iron ore is being trans transported by truck no, no, no. from the Aspirus a month ago, and the company responsible for the iron that, that the company that responsible for the transportation is, is efficient logistics. That's the company that year that we efficient logistics on the jacket. They are responsible for the transportation for the for 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 here to from the Martin to the and the issue of transportation in Okay. Yeah, that's an thought. Somebody get noisy that each of the trucks made two trips a night. So in that, not just not to hold it for them because of that. We have we, a more the trucks in, in the company, more the talking in company here. We have two living talking company currently. One company is owned by was Thomas Father, which is called Desire. Desire owns they have 15 trucks that are directly owned by only was Thomas Father. And then we have another company that is owned by Honorable Sir Joseph. So the two companies are the two leading companies that we come in and log in to a transportation company that is responsible to all the transport uh, iron ore in the night. Desire, desire to turn my truck with Desire is about 28 trucks. Then Honorable Sir Joseph, pretty close to 16 trucks for Honorable Sir Joseph that transport the truck from, from on top of my brother. Yeah. I said, no, I said, I get money for the back. A complete cartel. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Dad. Thank uh, you for the information. I said, I get money for the back. A complete cartel. Yeah, but so you understand now you're talking about environmental impact, the play of the citizen, you still don't talk about your Western thing, Tomlish on the road. You think the men get down for what are the trust points in the road or what are the doors from the trust with, with a fair people? You think they care? Now look at the information, which even though we gotta go a step forward to confirm some of these things, isn't that the same government people? So Sir Jota will be having truck taking iron ore from bombing uh uh Tom Fala in doing job, we are not in the low and he's not benefiting for it. That why you were allowed to happen. But it is slow, slow to India. Uh-huh. For the for the MOU, slow, slow uh -huh. part of the he went to India. Morally. But uh -huh. slow are the main person who pushed the deal. In fact, slow is the mean is to get up behind the deal. That was slow, already slow we do, slow we do everything in bombing that, that we're afraid That's the reason Piawa is not afraid of bombing. You bombing. You wouldn't care. If all the citizens are bombing that, it will be there. Thank you for making him senator. Running away from Mosul rather than making him senator. He doesn't care. It's all about his money. I mean, look at what is happening. So, no, no ordinary citizen in the country are doing trucking business, right? Only government officials, lawmakers. Right? And you didn't care for a citizen dog, I old dog wearing their nose and no, they care. They, they they care. the boys want their money. Oh, How much they, they don't even the send it. They don't even the send it. How much they pay them? Tell them what the what, what, what jobs are Joseph did not do besides being exactly. a and and send it and all the all of the stories of Melonier. Tell them father, Melonier. What have they done before? But tell them father, they playing better on that fee. How much money the plane was giving him? They are killing all one time. When he killed the power, all he killed was gone. That body get everything for the for the for the, for the legislature. So all of them become made. Where the money they coming from? That they can buy trucks and everything and be doing. They bury you the vegetables. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, bringing in buses. Again, you know, you know. Sometimes it can be challenging, frustrating, and difficult to get some critical issue through that flow. But with consistency, with resilience, with backing of some of your colleagues, even if the number is not huge, something can happen. Since 2020, I've been behind East International and uh, here uh, our IRO. Not until two weeks to our closure, this gone December, before they are open in the Senate for everybody to agree that East International lacked it technical and financial capacity to do that work, backed by a technical report issued by the Ministry of Public Works calling for a review 
of that contract and the likely the possibility of awarding that contract to another company that has the technical and financial capacity to do that role. This issue about transporting oil from bombing by road. And, and I shouldn't limit it to Montserrat. The fact that the transporting oil by road in any part of the country to a seaport, it is problem, it is problematic. And any national leader who prefers his pocket to the livelihood, the health of our people, they will meet us when we return. We return in next week, God willing. The only thing about the last electoral, and that's how democracy is everywhere, one man get power. You got to solicit support. And sadly, if you get majority who has soon walk in the minds and the actions about certain things, it's very problematic. I raised this issue today at a hand our meeting in the Senate, at the Senate, as we prepare to go back. When people get evidence, let them send it to us. Yes, please. Please. In fact, uh, someone they say, don't do it. Someone they say, when you do it, you act it big. My number is 077 for the purpose of this bombing issue and the IRO. Anybody won't get fed at a business. My number reading that I'm selling to please help me. No. My number that I'm reading that I'm very type of business. Then number I'm reading 0777 510 588. 0777 510 588. For the purpose of getting information on this issue that has to do with bombing and the transport of the transporting of iron ore by road. Nobody should transport iron ore by road in populated area to air to seaport. That is why the early administration, the UP administration that even brought this company and it was bought over by another company. They did not share one consignment of iron ore because the UP early administration with the Joseph Borger then, they insisted that, that that company will have to build the railroad first before they ship the oil. But John Weir then said, no, you'll use the road. One will get money for it, no problem. And the information I'm getting that colleagues of mine in the legislature having their trucks. How can you use your truck? Make money, kill the people in have wash, then you pay your own school and your hospital and say that you're tangible. I think I'll be able to The proceeds, the proceeds generated for killing the people, you bear your private thing, then you say, yeah, but I'm a lawmaker against school. We're opening next week, God willing. I already feel prepared. Hmm. But God, man, almost uh, after three hours, uh, Chupo is. Yeah, we have to go. We have to, to leave the studio yeah. and go home. So, Chupa, since you you were out there, you be the first in one minute to your closing. Uh, then Pastor Mo, uh, then Ali, uh, Pia, then Delo. So I just want to be grateful to the team. You know, my debut appearance today. I mean, it was actually great. I'm I'm grateful. Thank you guys. And I'll see you Friday again. Okay, thank you. So we'll, I'll call you tomorrow so we can work on the studio thing and see how we can get the course through. So that um, I'll call you, me, you, and Pia will work on it. Pia has some idea on some things you need to do. So we'll call but you. Then, but then Michelle, before you go. Don't log off. Don't log off. Michelle, before you go. No, Michelle, before you go. You should not go until everybody feels like I want to go. Yeah, yeah, one of the eyes. Yeah, one of the eyes. One of the <laughs> so I mean, the boss don't decide how on that. So so I can I can I can tell I can tell my injury and maybe yeah anything. Okay, we'll talk about the manager. Manager, hey, manager okay. in that in that other group that said it. So let let work with him there. Yeah, right.
Uh, uh, Pastor Mo, I know you 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 got to Yeah, it's been it has been a great show. Um uh, I want to say thank you to our many many viewers. Uh, we thank God for the increase in our viewers nowadays. Bless God. I want to say thank you to Mitchell Jupo. What the meaning of Jupo? Oh, they say you get one minute when you come in to investigate Jupo. <laughs> <before. laughs> <Wait, laughs> one minute. <laughs> <laughs> What's the meaning of Jupo? So, yeah, it's a better word, meaning in some mark, or in other words, that's my mark. And Jupo got it. Jupo got it. And my fellow name is Umwe. See that? Umwe is my fellow name, O Storm. Okay. All right. But um, I want to be grateful to God for the program today. There is so many issues that is confronting our nation. Thank God we are able to discuss those issues. And, uh, and uh, uh, my main concern is the security issues going to election 2023. I think uh, the police needs to start having training for police officers that will be set aside for the elections. My years in Liberia as a law enforcement officer, there were always police officers that were trained different to serve elections. And we are not seeing that. We don't know. And those officers that were trained were within the police department. It was not a new group of people that they just trained for election. There were police officers that were scrutinized and, and were trained to, to provide election security. And uh, I hope our government will think that path. Also, my concern had to do with candidates going out to conduct the campaign. We know that past elections, there were so many violence, violence against Talia Yuri, violence almost against uh, 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 Darius Dillo, violence against Cornelia Kraft, violence against uh, Clarence Massacre in Kidman, where his car was set ablaze. I think her house also was, was set ablaze. Violence uh, against uh, 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 people who supported the United Party, some of their houses was burned. What are we in the opposition? What are we doing? Like I tell our people, as long as you are not for CDC, you are an opposition. Come on, boo. You don't have to be a, a Liberty Party partisan. You don't have to be a United Party partisan. One matter is how can we remove these criminals from power? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Bo. Ali. Uh, 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 Steven, before Mo, before Mo come in, let me do something quick. It's, 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 it's unusual, but it's for the benefit of the show and for, for premium. So let's take, let take him. Uh, Gardner, Gardner used to be uh, in the police. I think you all know Gardner. Musa, you don't know Gardner? Maybe when I describe it, Gardner, Duffy, Duffy offended the way I come to describe it before you get there. But I don't know whether they will know you. Gardner was a, the guy that looked like a Jato. He used to be a crazy massacre in the police. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know, 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 I know Gardner. So Gardner was with the police, then he went with Greg Gray Como at the NBC. And he following the show, he said every time he tried to get here, he can be late, but he got interest in doing something for the radio station in Banga. Probably the presence of Jupor motivated him. Okay. So he wanted me to put him on so he can commit to doing something about uh, a premium where Jupor will be helping also city. So Gardner, they listen to you, you can go ahead. Okay, um, once again, my name is Gardner Morris. I used to work with Madam Service Administrator and then I move forward to the LFP, where we work until we move forward to the NBC. And we came under some pressure from the ruling party that was worldwide. And then we found ourselves here for our own lives. So I've been following the show for pretty close to seven to eight months now, and I'm really interested. I've heard a lot of issues, and they are touching, and especially when we come to these children dying, people missing, where there's no accountability, and there's nothing being done. 
it is sudden, but from where I sit, in my, in where we will help um, the class redo the studio that is about to be, you know, put together in Bone County, I will make, actually, I will contribute $100 and I will work with this guy to see how best we can get some equipment like recording, camera, we'll be out there, what we need to do. And that's my only way I can contribute to this show. I am, this is my thing. I follow this show very closely and I'm deeply interested as we get updates from back home because I strongly believe this is the only platform I will know what's really going on back home. Yeah, with this thing, this is why I told my kids, especially for my girls, I said, do not step out of the house on Christmas Day. Whatever you want, just sit home, eat, and sleep. That's all. So I want to thank you guys for the show, and I appreciate the manner in which you guys are reaching out there to all. Let me say kudos to Senator Darius Dillon and uh, the rest of the crew. Uh, let me see that. I, I see Mo Ali there. Mo Ali, you myself in the same camp from the Unity Party, and I always repeat Unity Party. Jeremy Lapia knows that. All right, Gardner, thank you very much. So I have Gardner's number with, with talk photo after the show on how to get the the hundred dollars and then the equipment. I'll keep in touch with him until that is uh, achieved. Thank you, Gardner. Thank you, thank you, Gardner. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ali, you're closing. So Chupo, y'all raised some money already. All right, so um I just wanted to say thank you to our callers and we will highly uh, support Senator Dillon if you want us to get more information from people across about this because it is something that is going to hurt everyone. Um, yesterday, Ketama and I talked about it. They are transporting iron ore with trucks at night and that is going to damage the road. The road is already very damaged. It's just going to make it impossible for, for little vehicles, smaller cars. So we gave you all of our support and we will talk about this consistently on the show. Whatever you need for us to do, we'll be there to help you to ensure that this does not continue. I want to say thank you to our people and from all all over, every Liberian, and particularly those of us from the Western Cluster, we need to stand up against this one. Exactly. And if Senator Dillon is taking this fight, let's give him all of the support that we that he needs in order to succeed because we are not going to benefit. If they can't even ask the company to build a railroad like they did during the tenure of Madame Sally, the same thing they wanted to do to transport iron ore by trucks. The same CDC people insisted. They made noise. It was not going to happen. Madam Sally quickly withdrew that. They are now doing it. And this is wrong. It has serious environmental side effect for everyone. It's going to damage the roads and they are going to even damage properties. So thank you, Senator Dillon. We are with you in this fight. People of Cape Man, Bomi, Bapulu, Monserrado, let's kick against it. Thank you. Thank you, Ali. And you know myself for that Western cluster also. So um, we have to take it seriously. My mom is from Bomi County. Um, so um, we have strong ties with, uh, with Bomi. Uh, Pia. Well, yeah. Um... Firstly, I'd like to say thanks to Jupor. I know you and I talked about him off air, and you told me you were having some arrangement there at Premier. But I think I'm very impressed with the young man. He's very intelligent, very articulate. He has conducted himself very well on this. There's a big platform, a platform with the like of the Fire burn senator of, of, of Monserrado platform with the great Stephen Johnson. I don't know, four or five master degree or how many, with the great Moali, former secretary general of the governing party, the Reverend Mo, preacher man from God's pulpit, you know, and your humble servant, Gerald Limick. 
So for him to have fitted in and conducted himself in the way he has done, I want to really thank him. And it goes to also say that initiative you decided that, because I've insisted that, yeah, I know Mo has been doing very well, but I've insisted we got to have this person sitting in a radio station and being a part of the show every day, because even Mo who is doing that, Mo wants to be representative. When the political process kicks out and it's really hot, Mo will be caught up in the field when you should have your show. He will not be able to take call. So I think uh, our, 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 our viewers are also watching. I'm sure they are as impressed as I am. And they can help to support the cause. You know, he's a young man. If he will be dedicating himself to sit in while we stay here for the four or five hours, it means that whatever Premier is doing for him as an employee, we can find a way if it means giving him a little stipend or whatever. I know our, our supporters are always being strong. They always come in. But we need a station more than ever before as we move towards the election nine months away. So I hope they are paying attention and we'll do everything we can, you know, to keep the young man on. And I want to close by saying, JMB has a different situation this 2023. In 2017, I'm not sure you and I, any, none of you on the platform remember whether there was any kind of up and down debate, euphoria, who would be the running mate, who would not be the running mate. I don't remember anything like that. Most of the conversation about who the running mate would be was at that level, JMB, EJL, the consulting and doing their thing, until we woke up one morning and we heard the name J. Manuel Nukwe. This time around, there's a lot of discussion taking place. In fact, before we could reach that level, the whole country wanted JMB and Senate Cummings until Cummings squandered that opportunity. And the people are that discouraged. They, not, they didn't give up because Cummings squandered the opportunity. The found opportunity. We're having all of these polling and the people are speaking. No attempt to put JMB on, on any pressure, but all I want to say to him as a supporter and as a unity partisan is to urge him to pay attention. Not just to yet. Everywhere they're doing polling as to who a running mate will be, I pray he pay attention. He pays attention. So that when he takes that ultimate decision, he does so on an informed basis and based on where the people stand. That is my only plea to him, and that is how I'd like to end this show. Thank you, Pia. Thank you, Pia. Um, Senator, take us home, please. So I've got the support of <clears throat> Senator Jonathan Borja Sibwin of Wibaji County, my very reliable colleague in the Senate. What are you, what are you got writing the, here? A left of you guys. That work with him on Monday? Yeah, let's see how it works. Uh, Senator Segway and I had a discussion about this uh, Western cluster iron ore transshipment, I mean, uh, uh, transport of iron ore to populated areas today. And we jotted it as one of our general items. Senator Lawrence, Steve Zago, Senator Kabir. I will speak to Senator Prince Moy. Um, and I believe that there is no reason why he won't see reason to join his effort. I will speak to a few other senators. You know, we're on break, so we are not regularly meeting. But at the Capitol today, I, I sat in the office of Senator Jonathan Subway. He, he, he too had his jotted down as one of his agenda items when we return. So we're building a block around this issue. It, it is not a Darius Dillon thing. I'm not a hero here over this issue. And, and, and it, we have to do it together. We need the information, all of the credible information. I have the MOU. I have the MOU signed by the Minister of Justice, the Minister of Finance, and all those connected to that nonsense they're doing over there. 
Talk about MOU supersedes legislative action taken to ratify a concession agreement. We will put all of those things before the Senate for action. I want to say thank you. Thanks to the callers tonight who have expressed their desire for who they believe that if Joe Parker chose as his running mate, it will be their choice to vote the ticket or it will enhance the ticket. We look to forward to uh, Ambassador Boaga's judgment, hopefully sooner than later. The sooner, you know, when people believe in a ticket, they can spend on the ticket if they have. They can sacrifice their time on that ticket if they don't have the money. They can pray. Those who can spiritually pray, they can pray. So many ways people can contribute to a ticket or to a cause. It's not necessarily that everybody has the money. But the earlier the ticket is announced in a reasonable time, and once people believe and accept that ticket, Every other thing will follow, just like the Bible says, I want to be careful. I go to the Bible, so I can jump in the lion den and, and, and <laughs> I don't want to jump in the lion den and lead a burning fire. But the Bible says, seek ye first, first, the but kingdom of God. Yeah, they went to Hebrew brother, that's why I want a Hebrew brother in the lion den and I in the burning fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, uh, uh, Daniel was a Hebrew. But if they were not four in the lion, then I wouldn't. They were, <laughs> they were not three there. <laughs> so, but what I'm saying, even the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all other things, not some things, not many things, not half of the things, all other things shall be added unto you. The ticket will provide all other things the, the moral support, the financial support the spiritual support, the everything that people have individually, collectively, they will bring it, they will come with it. And once the people believe in the ticket, they can make it win. But we'll leave that to the judgment of uh, Ambassador Baca, former Vice President Joseph Baca. We want to thank you. Thank you for calling and choosing your candidate of your choice. Um, we, were, uh, we were a bit uncomfortable to do this in the class we loaded because it will be like, why you expect, you know? But the fact that people unannounced and people calling from across the country, in and out of the country, it is telling. Let me close by saying I'm a little jealous about a premium FM offer. I show the guy who called to talk about premium FM, he got something kind of bunk on the link. I'm challenging all those who get linked with Monserrado County and Grand Basel County. Let's support Bourgeois Radio and Dupa Radio. Or if you're from Cape Man, an ardent follower of the cloud reloader, and you want a radio station in Cape Man to relay the show, come forth. If you're from River G, Maryland, wherever you're from, and you believe that we can contract a radio station, to relay the show, come forth like Lazarus. Lazarus, come forth and come forth now. But we want to say thanks to Senator Lawrence for availing Bourgeois Radio and taking charge of Radio Duba, Radio Bourgeois in Moravia and Radio Duba in Grand Basel County. I know uh, uh, Steve Johnson has a list, but thanks to Senator Prince Moy of Bonk County for availing. Premium FM, Senator Steve Zago of Lofa County for a villain, voice of Lofa. I think we need to follow up on Magibi with Representative Ben Fofana of, of UP with Magibi and other stations. Well, Stephen, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Mo. Thank you, Mo Ali. Pia, you are, I, I talk cool people first about I give you a certificate. The first real false bazaar man that she. <laughs> Pia, you finish closing. You finish closing. You don't respond. I'm not saying Pia, nothing. Well, who who does that say something? <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. Yeah, you finish closing. That is, that is advantage or closing last. <laughs> <laughs>
I, so I, I, get I live in Nigu town for more than 15 years. So maybe I. No, maybe I can't you. Can't you. Tell that one. You you man. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stephen, thank you. It's over to you guys. And, yeah, and guys, today, today, so today, 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 the I'm political more, leader I'm of Labour Party. Party. Today, the political leader of Labour Party had a very splendid, excellent uh, press engagement. She did a year end uh, um, statement. Uh, I think we we'll, we we'll read it in this class on Friday. Yeah, you should send it to me. Let me put extra yeah. page also. Yeah, and I think we got the video clip. You know, we'll send it so her, her, we can just play the video and then we can discuss it. What she yeah. said and what she said, what she should not have said, what, uh, she, you know, all that stuff. So we yeah. do an analysis of it. But thank you and God bless you. Hey, 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 please take them Mohammed Kamara number. He, he's talking about that uh, iron ore issue. He has some information. Right. Um, Ali, please take that number. So, guys, let me announce, you know, I went back to the polls online to check. We gone 656. I know it's more than that. 656. Person um, have voted so far. Um, Senator Kanga Lauren has 417, 417, representing 63%. Um, Tewan Gonglu has 184, uh, representing 28%. Uh, Benin IU 13, 1%. Um, Jeremiah Kung has 20, representing 3%. Uh, Prince Mo has 13, representing 1%, and others have uh, 8, representing. One percent, so it, it increased by one hundred and the total vote increased by one hundred and twenty-one just in ten minutes. I know by the time I go back there again, it'll be. You said orals are how many? Eight. Pi in the orals. So that like you pi. No, 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 no. For me, that's the new. Are you pi and brother? Okay, guys. <laughs> Well, guys, let me just say thanks to all of our radio stations. And today we had uh, Michelle Dupont from uh, from Premier FM, uh, 98.1 there in, in Banga, Bong County. It's good that you can join us uh, live from Banga. We'll see you on Friday. Let me say thanks to Pushwa Radio FM, 98.1 in Montserrado. Uh, radio Dupa FM, 89.1 there in Grand Basel County. Voice of Lofa FM, uh, 99.3 in Lofa. Uh, Radio Joy Africa FM 97.5 in my Gibi and Voice of Compa FM 106.5 in Nimba County. So, guys, um, we, we're nine months, two weeks to elections. Um, this is the only stretch we have. So, um, we will have to put in our all. If if we don't do it, I'm sorry to say we got to get ready for another six years, God forbid, of this thing. So, we have to commit that the next nine months... We have to be here uh, or be square. That's why that's why some of us are making the sacrifice today. We'll be here almost four hours. As yeah. I leave here, as soon as the show ends, I'm going to the laundry. Yeah. And do my family laundry. It would take me more than three hours in the laundry before I finish. Yeah. So you what do you mean laundry? I went wash clothes. You come you come on, on a highway, you doing laundry, you better go by a wild bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to think now a day about it. That's how we're watching the story. We have 10 days, we can watch it. We just put it in the machine and buy our soap there, and that's all. Uh, <laughs> we'll I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, we'll we'll put it in the dryer ready and get dry there. Be safe, yeah. Be safe out there. I uh, know, right? <laughs> yeah, be safe there. And uh, uh, when, uh, I'll call you tomorrow so we can do a dry run for the to see how we can work on the phone because by Friday, we want. Want to use those numbers um, and let people call in the studio, Senator. Also, you need to talk to the guys from uh, from Bourgeois Radio too. If um, we can, we can alternate the days we don't. Yeah, have. I'm getting a laptop for them. But if yeah, I'm, I'm get I'm getting a laptop for them to fill it, to to fill that gap. Okay, all right. Thanks, guys. Have a good evening. Yeah. And enjoy your rest of the evening. Thank you. You the quality of who? Yeah, I, I, I gotta play our music. <laughs> okay. Hello, we'll pass more, yeah? Okay, let's go.
The people who are so, the people that to us, the power may be true. I say we tire with their lies, we tire with their promises that left us to all our damages. We tire with their speech, they preach indeed, and now you need to see us. The thing we saw, it frustrates us. So why can't you laugh? Why can't you speak? Why can't you align the tendencies to be? So why, why, why? They want me to lie. Why, why, why? But that the passion that we have. Oh. Yeah. And we go we